knows how to kick goals and knows how to kick them here. So we're in for a bumper contest. Thanks, Brash. Just about set to go in the middle of this uh, very nice uh, day here at H.E. Parker Reserve. Sirens uh, having a bit of a problem, I think, but finally it goes up in there, and there it is. That man, Finn Brown, he gets the tap down, and it's taken away there by South Belgrave, but an early free kick will go their way, and we'll come back for a free kick just forward of centre. That'll be taken by, I think that's Connolly there, and the Connolly or Garner, and it gives it off. Now, here they come forward, South Belgrave, the first inside 50 of the game. The long kick forward, Wiz Matt goes over the top, and that might be a free kick as well. Smith, it was, who was uh, taken to ground, but the umpire says, no, we'll just have the... And a 25. Yeah. So a little bit of early indiscipline there, which we don't want to see, but uh, inevitably happens every week. So it's in the hands of Burley. That's Joel Burley. Of course, brother Ryan playing in the side as well. Now it's knocked out towards the boundary. All beautifully picked up over there. I think that's uh, Forbes gets it back inside. Nicely picked up there by... Van Leeuwen gets a handball over the top. Little chip down the line there from Isaacs. Can he hit the target? Beautiful mark. It's been paid as well. That's a terrific grab over there. Now they'll go inside 50. A little short kick. Just into the... In fact, it's been turned over. It's not a great kick at all. So South Belgrave will bring it forward. Just over a minute played here. Just a very much a filling out period. South Belgrave going forward. Kicking to about half forward. And it's uh, been taken over there. That's a poor kick. And easily cut off over there by... I think it might be McDonald over there. Goes right foot down the line, trying to find a target. There's plenty of South Belgrave defence down there again. That's another poor kick. That's the second time that's happened as they go inboard this time, trying to find a target. Kid couldn't get his hands to it. On the ground there was McDonald. Wrapped up nicely. Good tackle by Treegart. And we'll have a ball up. It is very early on, but you're right about the skill level. Uh, just a, a lot of missed kicks going over the top of players, both ways as well, not, so not, not to one just side. So Roy Heath might get it out of the middle. The kick forward, trying to find Smith. He's had a fantastic season, Tim Smith. He's uh, 32 goals. He's a leading goal kicker in the competition. And if he gets on the end of a couple, so I'm going to throw it back in. Smart football as well, Tim Smith. He certainly is. <laughs> So finally the umpire gets it in. He's working his way to the front spot there and doing well was that man. Uh, in fact, that was uh, Evans, sorry, we were talking about. Evans gets a little handball out there, but South Belgrave can get it clear now, and they kick down to about half back. Uh, beautifully well, well picked done, up there. That's superb play by Brown. Brown gets it, but it's been uh, knocked forward. And that'll be a free kick for some holding, I would say. That's yes, a good free is. kick. They had no one, uh, no one up forward. Odomat pushing up onto the wing, so he wins the free kick now, and he goes left foot down the line, just trying to find a target, but it's not the flash kick. Flash's kick in the world dropped over there, though. Should have been taken by McDonald. Now that little short kick out of defence. And here's Heath might to bring it forward. Nicely done there by Isaac. Uh, it's not Isaac, sorry. It is uh, Haynes. Boundary. As we go boundary with Matt Fodio. Yeah, just a couple of those key matchups in the South Bay Road forward line. So Jake Sheriff's gone to Lee Odomat. So two wise old heads going head to head. And Harry Isaacs, the young fella, he's got the big job on Tim Smith. Garner looks to push higher up the ground. So he hasn't got a direct opponent. But that's what we've got for you down here. Thanks, Matty. Good uh, observation. Joel Merritt spreads it across. Now it's in the hands of Haynes. He goes a scrubby old kick on the ground. There is Evans trying to pick it up. He got it. It comes out, but uh, it's all a bit untidy now. It's in the hands of Haynes, who gets a kick forward, and that's a beauty. And the mark is taken, and this should be the first goal of the game, and taking it full forward. As we watch the replay, it's a bit untidy, but it just came out in a beautiful little kick here by Haynes, just drilled it, and the mark was taken. It almost there, Heathmont just summed up the situation and looked at the, and it looked at the win and decided, let's keep these next possessions low, and it's paid off there. So Taylor Wallace it is, he's taken the mark, and he drills it from right in front. He's another left footer, the goal umpire having a good look, and it's through, so the first goal of the day, and it's Heathmont who opened their scoring out here at HE Parker Reserve, and uh, a good start for them. It is, and uh, that's exactly what you want on uh, when you when you first get back on, onto, a, onto a ground, so to speak. I mean, obviously the cobwebs, Ryan, they're going to take a little while to eke themselves out, but just as long as you can get your hands on the ball. You're right, and uh, I mean, South Belgrave, they had plenty of opportunities there just earlier. That that kick inside 50, there was about five Heathmont players around that, uh, around, I think it was Tim Smith and maybe one other South Belgrave, so they just need to start like that, lowering, in the, lowering their eyes, looking for a target and make sure to be able to hit those sort of short kicks, direct kicks, and especially with the wind that could carried it. So back in the middle, Heath might get the first score of the day. The major is the umpire just taking his time as he wanders over like he's going for a walk in the uh, 
Gardens on a Sunday afternoon. Up it goes. There's the top down. Nicely done there by Smith. Trying to get his hands on it. There was Forbes. I think it was. Now the ball comes out. And he's Heathmont with, uh, sorry, South Belgrave with a chance to go forward. Good ball from Bartels. And the ball smothered. It's going to go out of bounds over there on the far side. Right about half forward. Good play by Bartels. But good defence once again by Heathmont. I think the one thing that's determined so is going to determine this game so far is actually both sides, midfield, are going to be really, really crucial in determining the outcome of this contest. So, the ball to come back in as we welcome uh, Ben Warren-Smith to the commentary for the first time this afternoon. Thanks very much, Besto. Rucks go at it now. Went straight through the arms of Brown, who goes after it again, gets the handball out. That's OK, Burley got dispossessed to the football, then goes after a great second effort. Will have a bounce, or a throw up, we should say. 70 metres out from the Heathmont goal line. Fall the ball, right, barging through there. Burley, little snap around the body. Dribbling kick up towards the 50, and out of bounds she goes. Boundary. So let's head out of the boundary, Matt Fodia. Yeah, Lee Odermatt's just got a bit of work done on his right calf on the ground. You can see the trainer wiping the, uh, the, the deep heat off on the grass there. So he was just working on that right calf. So just keep an eye on it, lads. Old man's calf. So, I'm not sure what's going on here. We're taking an eternity to uh, get the play restarted. Finally, the umpire gets it in. Up they go. Getting up nicely over the top there. And one by uh, Heathmott. The ball goes inside 50 once again. Funny old spoil, but it's going to do the trick and it will go out of bounds in the right forward pocket. So we've had uh, just over six and a half minutes played. And Heathmott with uh, the territory advantage at the moment. And the first goal on the board as well. So once again, taking an awful long time to get the ball back into play. We're on a bit, a bit of a go slow here. Up it goes, getting to the front spot there was Treegart. Did well as the ball is knocked down. Back into the contest again, though, and it'll be wrapped up, and we'll have another ball up. Forward pressure's been pretty good early for Heathmont. They've been able to trap it inside that half forward, forward 50 half. So the umpire will throw it up. It's about 20 metres out. Treegart got the knockdown straight into the arms there of Kidd, who's quickly wrapped up there by Bailey Stevens. Let's uh, do it all again. On a bad left sleeve there by, by Kidd. Pressy. That's impressive, yeah. Nicely done by Aiden. As uh, Treegart got the knockdown, little handball over the top by that man Kidd. Comes out towards the, the 50 for Heathmont. Backwards to go forwards. Thought I heard a whistle there, but the umpire said it was OK. McDonald handballed it to himself in the end, went after it, dived on it. And we will bring it up for another stoppage. Two great jumpers of the Eastern Football League, Heathmont and South Belgrave. Big fan. Charging his way through there was Liam Kidd. He dropped the pill. That's holding the ball, you would say. Or has the umpire... Yes. Oh, incorrect disposal it was. Thanks, Giggles. Umpire Bruce Priest. There's uh, Haynes. Nice kick inside the 50 there. They go at it. But it was uh, Garner who was there to mop up the pieces. Got the handball back. The quick kick out of the defensive arc was intended for Black but Murphy Ambrose charges after it he got brought to ground and now it'll be a chance now for Black again so South Belgrave a chance to go forward the kick goes up towards the fourth the forward line but it was chopped off there by Gosbull the handball back Jets just looking like they might have the bit of time here the umpire said it was touched off the boot and that really put off their Haynes so now a chance for the Saints through kid through the middle of the ground they go up into the forward arc there's a little bit of space here a little bit of time for Connolly who just had the time the poise and the skill to put it through. That South Belgrade's first on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Scores are level, Wayne Brasher. They are BWS, and gee, they found some uh, space there. Uh, South Belgrave, uh, really impressive there. They moved that ball very quickly then off that opposition half-back line. Well, they caught a few Heathmont uh, defenders up the ground too far then. They had three open in the uh, forward 50, so that's what they've got to do, because Heathmont will look to try and trap that ball in the forward 50, so if they can transfer transfer that run from the half back and uh, end that in some scoring it would be uh, go a long way for their chances today to get up 
really impressive goal there by Brody Connolly because he was uh, at the end of the day he got a little push as he kicked it but that might have helped it go through Besto. It was a strange one wasn't it he was sort of on his own with not too much to to uh, to challenge him as the free kick is won in the middle by South Belgrade they take it quickly and they go forward now kick to about half forward Mark almost taken but it's spilled away but they've still got a chance nice pick up there by Brown Brown gets his handball away and the, now it's time Bang. for Heathmont to go forward big kick straight down the ground nicely done there by Costa off half back they spread it wide juggling around there was uh, uh, was Bartels, I think it was. No, in fact, that was Robertson. Now they get it forward. An opportunity for them to come forward. Bajramov, he's had a good season so far. Plenty of goals, 18 of them, in fact. As the ball is on the ground, and that'll be a ball up. On the bottom of that is Hudson. And the umpire says we will throw it up. So good, interesting. No, he's seen a free kick here, Brett. OK, yeah, maybe a little bit of a high shot in there somewhere. Couldn't really see a lot on that, but anyway. It's called holding the ball. It's called it, yeah. It's pinged him for holding the ball. Oh, that's a bit ball, stiff there on Hudson. That's, that's rough, I think. Yeah. Anyway, it's going to be uh, Evans who gets it towards the uh, hot spot. Didn't have the confidence to go for goal, and the mark's been Good taken mark. straight over the back. Gee, they completely misread it then. That's how Belgrave defence. They certainly did. That was, uh, was a strange old Bajramov. kick. Bajramov. Bajramov, he's had a very good year. He's a, he's a very talented young player. 16 goals so far this season. And he should add to that with uh, Heathmont second of the afternoon. Puts it through Bajramov, so that's his first of the day. Heathmont second, and they lead on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard after 10 minutes. It's uh, a two goals, two, one, two goals straight to one goal straight. Yeah, well, he's a, he's a quality football, Bajramov. He's played for Montrose in Premier and, and, and first in Premier Division a few years ago. So he comes to Heathmont with pretty... Um, He's come to Geithmont with good credentials. So and it's ba is Baj, not Baj? No, I, 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 uh, I, yeah, Baj Marov, Baj Marov, I, yeah, I'm not sure. We're going with Baj Marov. All right. Baj Marov, all right. Let's be consistent. Yep, no problem. Just waiting for the ball to come back in. It's a bit harder when you don't have the uh, under-19s or, or such uh, playing behind the goals and following the sides. You've no. got to almost go and collect your own football. So just waiting for that to come back now. And it's a bit of a hill down there behind the uh, the goals. Jeez, we're going to have a lot of time on by the time we have all these uh, balls going over the back. We'll have like 35-minute quarters. Yeah, my finish in darkness. <laughs> Boundary. Let's go boundary side. Just some quick matchups here down in the Heathmont forward line. We've got uh, Bajramov, who's being followed by uh, Milovojevic. And we've also got uh, Evans, who's being tailed by Robertson. Thanks, Jared. Sorry, that was Castle Dine, not Milovic. Thanks, Jared. And there, Jared Beanland today, riding shotgun to the media manager, Matt Fodia. Best spot in the park down there on HE Parker as we go into the middle. The rucks go at it. Brown got the little back flick, so Heathmont go forward again. Inside 450, looking for Bajramov, oh. who just stuck the Dukes out and took it on the second bite. Fantastic play there. He came charging out uh, from that stoppage, and he was in front, and that's where you got to be, Brush. You certainly do, especially when you're um, going with the wind. You, the more in, more in front, and uh, and you're leading up the ground, you've got a better chance of getting the getting the ball. Distance won't be a problem. He looked pretty confident. He'll kick from just outside the arc. He comes in and he got too close to the man on the mark. He did the opposite to what I thought he would do, and he kicked it out of bounds on the ball. Impressive kick. Impressive kick from the middle, though. It's quite easy to blaze away when you've got oh. the wind with you. Well, it wasn't that impressive of a kick out then by South Belgrave. It was a floater which uh, hit the Dukes there of Milovic, but he couldn't quite hold it. And over she goes for a boundary throw in. So we've gone 13 minutes here in the first term on AFNL game day. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast from home. There'll be plenty watching today as well as we still can't go out and watch our local sides play footy, but it'll, hopefully it won't be too far away. And hopefully your side can get up and you can enjoy the broadcast today. Bajram off from the stoppage, goes after it again on here. His tail there was black. He did well. Got got it. Somehow they worked themselves out there. Smith, though, he was quickly wrapped up by Burley and Co. And we will have a ball up just inside the paint. About 75 metres out from the Jets' goal line. Rucks go at it. Black at the fall. The ball He's quite lively and quite quick as well as he kicks it up towards the wing position. All players are forward of the ball at the moment. So no one in the South Belgrave forward arc if they get a quick kick forward. So Kid spun on a throw. He kicks the ball inside forward 50. He was looking for Oda, Matt. He was out position that time. Was Lee. And now it'll be Heathmont through the arms of Murphy Ambrose to re-attack. So Ambrose going for a run. He can run a long time too before anyone gets near him. And he kicks a lot of open players. Guys standing around with no one 
on them. Nice mark by Bailey Stevens. Good player as he gets his kick forward. Mark taken there. That's Caleb Quirk, just forward of uh, centre. We're in about centre wing. Looking around for options. Decides to go back. Just chipping it back. So it felt like they should have gone quickly then, Heathmont, but they slowed it up. Ambrose with the ball. They've missed their opportunity here, Heathmont. They have. I think he should have definitely gone early. Now it uh, goes inside, and they're really just uh, milking around here. It's uh, Burley of the Joel variety. Gets it down the uh, line there. Nicely taken. Little short kick inside, trying to find a target, and that's beautifully done. Van Leeuwen it was, and he's going to play on Van Leeuwen, and he gets a kick towards half uh, four, but it goes right over the top, and it's going to go out of bounds, and we'll have a throw in. A little bit of a scuffle over there in the uh, on the ground. It was uh, Silva and uh, Osborne just getting acquainted at the start of the game. That was well played by South Belgrade, that little passage of play. Forced Heathmont into a 50-50 uh, stoppage here. So it'll be... I think it'll be Evans to go up against Costa, the two number twos. So Evans got the knockdowns. And uh, the Saints might have the numbers here. Going back, Silva got dispossessed of it. Quick kick out there by Costa now. Dumped it on the boot out towards the half-back line. Who's going to be there at the fall of ball? A good tackle there by Connolly. Released it for Black. And now they've linked up to Kidd in the middle of the ground. So Liam Kidd on the left. Kicks it up towards the half-forward line. He was looking for Odomato. who got one bite on it. Little handball back to Lee. It might be advantage paid. He just didn't have enough purchase on it on the end. And it's gone straight down the throat there of Ambrose, who looked this way, then went that way. On the left boot. That was classy play. Chipped it over the top there to Robbie Savory. One of my all-time favourites. And now a chance for the Jets to square themselves up and go the switch even, in fact, and that's exactly the way that they go along the wing position. Nice kick by Stevens. He spotted up a target and had to stay strong, and the mark has been taken there by Osborne, who wants to waste no time on the left, goes towards the half-forward line or even inside, but the umpire had already called a whistle, and back she will come, and it'll be a free kick. Uh, well, it's going to be to Osborne, but 50 he might have got a 25, 25 metres which is the, one of the weakest 25s I've ever seen. He's put him about 12 metres forward from where he kicked it. So hasn't given him much of an opportunity here to have a ping, but Osborne might still go back, Cam, and have a, have a shot on goal. Remind me not to buy any real estate off this guy, will you, mate? 100%. So Osborne... He's going to back himself in here. We're right behind him. He's going to wind around on the left. He, no. Speared at it in the end, really, didn't he? And he uh, pushed it way, way right and threw for a minor score. So that's the first blemish of the afternoon on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. 17 minutes gone in this first term, and we see Heathmont leading by seven points, 2-1 to one straight. So South Bugger have to bring the ball back in, but as we've been saying earlier, the ball's gone right over the back, and with no one to retrieve it, we're having uh, some quite long waits in between scoring shots as the ball comes uh, back up the hill. So still pleasing conditions, although you can see that the cloud is uh, starting to come across, so there is some rain they forecast. Got, they got 700 million from the government. They should have put up a net or something behind the Yeah, I think so. It, it couldn't be that hard, surely. So South Belgrave to bring the ball back in. I'm really quite baffled as to the, the, the slow play from both sides, really taking ages to get rid of the ball. That's a beautiful mark taken there by Savory. He can nearly kick it from there. Now he can put <laughs> it on the left boot, puts it inside 50. Can they get a mark up? They fly, but it goes to ground. Chasing back there, trying to get it was Young. He's got it too... Gets a handball away. Here's an opportunity. The shot at goal, and that might just... Oh, no, it's out of bounds on the full. It was a difficult angle and spewed wide for a throw-in, or free kick, sorry. So, two goals, one plays, one straight. And once again, we have to wait for the ball to return. Oh, from sharp, sharp pass back from the young <laughs> fella over the fence does he, does he get a stat for that? Oh, I reckon. <laughs> Get the guy a chocolate as the kick goes out of that defensive zone for uh, South Belgrave. It was a good kick too. You can see the wind just carry it there. Connolly wants to switch it back inside. So what can the Saints manufacture here? They're going back wide again. Sam Brown takes it. One of the ball brigade for the Saints. Of course, receiving it from uh, Michael Smith. Another one of my all-time favourites. He goes short there. Trigart. Ruckman will use the middle of the ground. That's okay. Spotted up his teammate there. We've got a number 17 out Castle there. Dine. Castle Dine. Castle Dine. Got it yep. across. Now, inside forward 50. The Saints go. Ambrose was at the back. He did well, Murphy. He trapped it in the end, and then a little chip kick over the top was good and spotted up Burley just underneath the Bendigo Bank scoreboard where the Jets lead by seven points. Will that create the switch? It's a pretty fast-paced game of football at the moment. Burley. This time of the Joel variety. We'll switch it out wide towards the netball centre. So squeeze it back up. Hanson 
across the half back line. Skills are pretty tidy as uh, Hansen just goes bang and kicks it straight down the guts. It's the closest way home, and a free kick has been paid against Heathmont. It'll be against, uh, I think it'll be against Burley, may, oh, sorry, Molino there for a bit of a shepherd, and a bit of a waste as well, if you ask me. That they had the opportunity now to chance here for South Belgrave. Here's Milovic, gets it inside forward 50 or to oh. centre half forward. He should have been paid a mark in the end. It definitely went the required distance, and now a free kick has been paid the way of Ambrose, who just is a cool as a cucumber, always in a tough situation, and he switches it out wide, very rarely wastes the possession either as he spots up his teammate out there in, well, I thought that might have been Brown, but it wasn't, as the kick goes inside the centre. I like the fact that they're attacking both sides here, charging after it. That time there was McDonald. He put a lot of pressure on twice, in fact, got it away, oh. but then Kid came in, got the handball away to Black, who was looking sideways, then squared himself up and spotted up a teammate up towards a half-forward line in Brown, who swings around on the left boot, kicks the ball up towards the 50. It wasn't a, a, a pretty one, but Garner was there. He had the time. Here's Odomat. Will Lee squeeze this one back. It looked like he was going to square things up, in fact, but the check side just wouldn't go through. Would have loved that one to go through in front of the old Heathmont grandstand, but nonetheless, through for one behind and margin back to six points, 13 plays seven as we hit time on Besto in the first term. Just as we bring the ball, Brash, uh, interesting question. I, I, I just noticing there's so much space Space. There seems to be guys in acres of space. Is that just bad marking, or is this ground bigger than we ex sort of anticipated? Oh, I think it might be a bit of both. Well, they had the run here, and I'll tell you what, they had a fair play all by himself in the 50 heat on if they could have actually just got it away, but instead they're going to link up South Belgrave and go on the return, kicking towards the middle of the ground. Might be a chopping of the shoulders, of the hands, I should say, and the umpire paid it, and then he brought it back again. So um, we're not too sure why it wouldn't be advantage paid, but a good mark then taken by the umpire too. We'll, uh, we'll pay that one also. I think both sides, too. Brett, are trying to play their own game style, and it depends on what suits that approach appropriate time. Mm, just something I've noticed. Van Lewin pumps it forward to uh, run about the hot spot. Up they go. Goes through the hands of Bajramov. Back there was Silva. Couldn't take it. They're under a fair bit of pressure here as it's batted forward. Now the little funny little kick across the face of goal, but that's not going to get it done and it's going to go out of bounds in the opposite pocket. In fact, it's on the fall by the looks. The good thing so about this, Brian, is, is the fact that both sides, when they get their chance to move the ball, they're moving it quite well. They are, so no excuse not to move the ball well today, though. It's uh, beautiful conditions. The sun's gone out for the moment, but it's nice and dry and hard, and the ground looks quite fast, and it's trapped in that uh, right forward pocket for the moment. We've had uh, 22 minutes, low scoring, and two goals, one plays, one goal, one. But quite an entertaining game nonetheless. <laughs> Once again, taking an absolute age to get the ball back in. It's starting to really get on my goat as the ball goes down. <laughs> I'll have to go and have a chat to the umpires at halftime as they try and go uh, get it out of there, but it's uh, Withers who went without it. Now it's on the ground. Heathmont can wrap it up here, and they'll be happy with a stoppage. You'd be happy with a time-wasting free kick, would you, Brett? Well, I've never been the world. Who do you give it to if it's the umpire? <laughs> <laughs> Could be the first umpire to ever penalise himself. Now the ball in there, it's uh, trying to get his hands on it was Kid. Trying to bullock his way through there was Black. Now it's on the ground and the umpire says we'll have another ball up. Tell you what, he's lucky he didn't get pinged there. He tried to break two tackles and got brought to ground. I would have paid that hold in the ball and he's actually hurt himself there. Which in fact, is it's Kid, sorry, Liam Kid, Kid yeah. yep. He looks a bit uh, worse for wear, that's for sure. Yeah, he's holding his right elbow. The boys will keep a close eye on that one, I think. So up it goes. There's the uh, knockdown by Treegart into the hands of uh, Kidd, who got back into the play pretty quickly. Nice work there by Withers. Twists out of the tackle. This guy's played well so far. Black, nice little ball out there to uh, Ka um, Milo um, Milo <laughs> Lo Milovic. That's the one, yeah. As the ball goes down, it's uh, in the hands of... Yeah, that's the boy. And the umpire says we'll come back for... Uh, I knew I'd mess it up at least one time today. As uh, South Belgrave go down the middle of the ground, but that's a poor kick, and it's easily marked there by Declan Brown. See, it's, that was a true mongrel punt, that one. It certainly was. Looked like one of my kicks. So Declan Brown and goes across. That's almost overcooked. He's a bit lucky there, but the mark is taken by Haynes. Saved his bacon. 23 minutes paid as the ball goes out wide. Just going from across the ground, Bailey Stevens. Good play, but we haven't seen a lot of him so far today. Now Stevens goes down the line, trying to hit a target. Who's down there? Bajramov is there, I think. In fact, it might be Sheriff. But the ball goes out of bounds and we'll have a throw-in. Around about uh, 
It's just outside the uh, round from the forward pocket, but Heathmont still with the uh, territory advantage. They do love this possession-style football coming out of the halfback, Heathmont. They do look to uh, hit up targets before they launch it inside 50. Evans to go against Treegard. Evans got the knockdown straight into the arms of Stevens, who bangs it on his boot, kicked it up towards centre-half forward. He was looking for the big man in Bajramov, who got the handball away. He nearly knocked the head off Burley. He'll get it back, though, oh. on the receive. He just traps it in time. Got a little tricky toe poke just to oh. keep the ball alive. That's clever play. Very clever play. A lot of players would have just got boot to ball, got the purchase, and it would have gone out of bounds on the full. But I'm definitely paying that one as a one percenter. He's looming as the mo as the most dangerous forward this afternoon. There's Ramoff. Yeah. yeah, he looks classy, doesn't he? My mother taught me to never talk with my mouth full, Brush. You should do the same. <laughs> as it comes out now, as uh, <laughs> Stephens uh, will take two on the boundary throw-in. I'm more interested to know why he's got food and we don't. <laughs> Uh, ball to be thrown in. Six points is the margin. Heathmont have it. And they have the win too. And it's a quite a hefty one, although it is pushing across the ground. Brown got the knockdown into Kidd, who did a little dance. He didn't get down tonight, but he got the free kick. So, But he's been in everything, though. He's a gun. He's an yeah. absolute gun, the kid. As he comes out now. And uh, it might be... You know, I feel like there was a whistle there, yeah, but it's I probably from the netball boards or, as well. It's a mark's been taken, so... See Ambrose screaming for some support as the kick goes up towards the half forward line. Connolly was in there, the ball didn't stay alive, and a little Declan Brown, how do you do? And too bad, so sad you didn't mark it, mate. And over she goes for a boundary throwing right in front of us here in the broadcast position. What facilities they are here out at HE Park awesome. Reserve, the best in the business. And a great joint venture from the cricket club and the football club to get this place buzzing. It's the best facilities in the eastern suburbs for mine as it comes out now. The handball goes and it's nicely trapped there by Haynes who did well to snap it around but it was quickly chopped off there by Wakefield. Got the handball away to Walls. Walls kicks it towards centre half forward. A big fly over the back there by the Sheriff. He got the fist on it as well and it came out to there to Odomat who got the handball to Costa. Costa squares it up. He's looking out there for Withers who was out the back of the pack there. He just waited for it in the end. Evans got the handball away and nice done there by Haynes to go backwards to go forwards. They'll square things up now. Will they get a bit of luck? It's a three-on-one situation. Black goes charging through. What a fantastic smother it was there, though, uh, by the Jets. But the second effort was strong by Black, but he was a little bit frustrated at his disposal prior. And he's given away a free kick. And good gut shown there by Jordan Haynes. He'll go back now. Just have a, have a bit of a breath. And he'll spear it backwards and go to that far side pocket. It's really ticked Bruce off that disposal as it comes in as our sheriff squared things up to Declan Brown. It's Brown with an E. He'll go short. Neat skills. So it'll be Wallace who was just waiting for support, running out wide, and he definitely got that in the end in Isaacs. Isaacs got the handball away. It's almost a little bit slow motion, Heathmont, as they make their way forward now, waiting for the football and the wrong end. And it'll be a chance there by, is it Castledine, did you say, 17? Yes. Yep, Castledine got the handball across to Brown. Brown was uh, right on his hammer, was Burley. Umpire ended up letting that one go. Kid got legged at the crucial stage there and won another free kick. So he's, uh, geez, he's barely breaking a sweat, Liam Kid, and he's absolutely around everything at the moment. Short pass over, and speaking about uh, not raising a sweat, this guy's got some dash about him, Black. He's absolutely everywhere now. Short passes on, Darcy Wallace. Almost like they're milking the clock, and they certainly were then because they could see that or feel that this quarter time siren was imminent. And I think they'll take that as a win, South Belgrave going against this. Uh, it's a bit of a breeze out here at HE Parker Reserve. At quarter time, it is the home side though, the Heathmont Jets. They lead it by one straight kick, 2 1 13 to South Belgrave, 1 1 7. That's one quarter down, there's three to go. We hope you're enjoying the broadcast this afternoon on the SEN app, 98.1 Radio Eastern, and of course, streaming live on YouTube and Facebook. We'll be back right after this and we'll bring you all those important scores from around the grounds as you go local for your footy today. I think with um, South Belgrave, they might have learned a little bit off Heathmont on how to play and use this win. Boundary. Let's but cross down down to, uh, sorry, Brash to cut you off, Jared Beanland, who's with uh, Nick Rutley. 
Yeah, 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 yeah we've, right. cro we've crossed down to you, mate. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I've got Nick Rutley, coach of the Heathmont Jets. Nick, how did you see that quarter? I thought we owned it well playing our way. Um, once we started to go long to contests that went shallow, we played into their hands a little bit, and that's how they got their scores. So we need to control the ball a bit more, especially into this little breeze as we get off. Um, yeah, so, and that's the message. Uh, keep the pressure up, keep the layers up. It's been really good and, and keep enjoying ourselves. Have you, uh, have you liked how you've handled the three big forwards for South Belgrave? Yeah, definitely, definitely. We've, um, they're obviously really, really good players um, and they're going to get their moments. And they did that to us in round uh, two or three, I think it was. They were quiet for a majority of the day and then they really got going. So we're mindful, they're good footballers and they're a really good team. So we can't just think this is going to be the game uh, that we're seeing at the moment throughout the day. They're going to come at us and we need to be ready for that. And you had something else to say? Yeah, um, we're wearing black armbands today for Stevie Crichton. Uh, we just want to put a lot of um, emphasis and time into that family and, their, and Stevie's friends um, and just support and get around him because he was a great part of the football club and a really important part of the Heatherdale Cricket Club. So our support's around them as a footy club. And also we're wearing uh, cystic fibrosis bands today too. Um, for our, uh, Marky Beetson, his son Simo passed away at the, the young age of 22, uh, played for the football club, which is just really, really sad. He's doing a power work to raise awareness, and today would have been a cystic fibrosis round. Uh, unfortunately, COVID takes the opportunity away to raise money, um, but we're trying our best. We're wearing those armbands today, and it sort of makes football pretty insignificant when you think about it. So we're happy to be out here competing and glad to be talking to you again on the boundary and enjoying what we're doing. So, um, yeah, it's a day for a cause, I think. Thanks a lot, Nick. What a, a, a fantastic wrap-up there yep. by, by Nick Rutley, um, taking the focus off the game for a second to talk about what was really important to the football club. And um, the uh, great to see. But let's get back to the game now. And what we do know is that South Belgrave are going to be having a shot on goal, and it's Sam Brown who's just received a free kick about 25 metres out directly in front. So scores could be level momentarily here. Maybe inside left. Yeah, let's see if he's got the angle of the dangle brush. As he comes in now, kicks it, gun barrel yep. straight over the goal umpire's head, scores level out here. It only took a minute and a half into the second term to see it get this way. South Belgrave have their second. And uh, like we expect, it's going to be close right throughout. Just boundary. It's cross down boundary to Matt Fodia, who was over uh, having listening in on Luke Galliott and South Belgrove. Sorry for interrupting there, Ryan. Uh, just a couple of updates there. So, Leo to Matt's calf, that was just a cork. He got a cork to the calf. So, uh, I think it's just a stinger. He doesn't seem too alarmed by it, but he was sort of just talking through it with the trainer. They were pretty happy with their quarter and, you know, kicking into a strong breeze and only keeping Heathmont to three shots on goal. Very happy with that. They probably thought they needed to hit up more leads rather than just trying to kick it over the top for people onto the run. Uh, turnovers, they had 10 of them. So, that they think that was the main reason that they probably weren't even in front at the end of that quarter. They were dominating the hardball gets from their uh, their stat sheet, so sometimes that can be a bit biased, but that's, <laughs> what, that's what they've got on their end. Two things to watch out on. They, they're going to change up their style of play, as we've already seen in the opening couple of minutes of this quarter, and they want to try and be very physical. They think Heathmont are quite light, and if they can just bruise them up in these first two or three quarters, they'll run out of gas by the end. Thanks, Matty. As uh, Treegard gets the uh, ball out of the middle, knocked down into the uh, contest, and they have a little bit of pressure. Nice little ball there from Bartels. Now that's Treegard again and gets it out wide. Nice kick down the line there from Forbes. In fact, it wasn't a nice kick because it's been cut off as Heathmont go forward. Bouncing inside 50. Can they get hands to it? That's a high tackle. Absolutely it is. It was a Silver who copped one around the mush and he will have a free kick just inside Defensive 50 goes out wide, trying to find a target. Nice kick through the hands, though, there of uh, Forbes. No excuses for bad handling today as the ball goes down to about half forward. And it's in the hands now of Brown, who turns around and bangs it forward. Trying to find Garner, who's... Oh, in fact, he lost it. He got out muscled there. Good work by his opposite. And they'll work it out. But it's, it's going to come it's straight back because it's in the hands now of Withers. But in fact, it's uh, absolutely... It's a turnover fest. The ball just going from one side to the other at the moment. Thumped down the line. Up they go, and it's Treegart. It takes a good Mark just on the uh, far forward line drills it for beautiful kick and that's straight into the hands I think that might be uh, Garner there or we'll just wait till he turns around no in fact it's Kid he's having an absolutely storming game today that was a beautiful kick Brash yeah he is 
Yeah, he is. Um, and they've started really well in this second quarter here, South Belgrave. They've kept the ball low going into their inside 50 as well. Okay, taking, taking the wind out of it a bit. It is Tim Smith. So here he comes, looking for yet another goal this year to add to the 32 that he's already kicked, and he's put it through. Beautiful kick from Tim Smith. He knows where the big sticks are, and that's his first of the day. So 33 for the season, and the first goal of the second quarter goes the way of South Belgrade. They lead 3-1-19 to 2-1-13 on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Just an update from around the ground, boys. Division 2, Mulgrave lead Baronia 5-3-33 to 2-3-15. Division 3, East Burwood 2-5-17 lead Warrandyte 1-1-7. In Division 4, Coldstream out of the gates early 6-4-40 to Churnside Park yet to score. Ooh. Forest Hill 0 goals 1-1 one, one, to Sylvan 2-3-15 in a must-win game for the Cats. Croydon North Mlock 2-3-15 lead Kilsyth to just the 5 behinds. And Surrey Park 4-3-27 lead another winning 6 behinds. Thank you very much there, Ryan. All back in the middle. The Saints have the lead. As it'll be Treegart and Brown going up after it. Brown got the knockdown and a little flick forward there by Stevens to no advantage though. So a chance once again for South oh, Belgrave to tackle. go after it. But fantastic work and what a great chase was Molino to and he feels like all of a sudden he's got a bit of cramp. So <laughs> the poor guy can't walk at the moment. He's have to just throw the ball away. So he might have pulled a muscle here. Yeah, he's done something, hasn't he? As it comes, uh, goes into the forward forward arc, about 20 metres out from goal, just as uh, easy as you like. It was all in slow motion in the end. Jed Hansen picked it up and just went plonk. Thanks very much. There's the answer that Heath Montmore after scores a level once again as we hit the five and a half minute mark of the second term. Might be like this all afternoon. Both sides, it's almost like who's going to who's going to get that moment, that 10 minute patch that could be the difference between being three and four goals up. And so maybe a little bit of uh, gamesmanship there, faking the injury, and of course the opposition stands still, and you get a quick goal, but I don't think so. We wait. Uh, Someone we'll... take the lollies away from Brash. <laughs> 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 so we're back in the middle. Scores locked up again. Not a high-scoring game, but uh, certainly an entertaining one so far out here at HE Parker Reserve. Umpire throws it up. Up they go. Finn Brown spending a bit of time in the ruck today. Knocks it down. Now Heath might get it forward again, but it's a scrubby old kick. Picked up nicely there by Silver. And they get it forward back to South Belgrave going towards the 50 uh, arc. Good mark. Beautiful mark taken back there by Van Leeuwen. He's been good today. Boundary. As we go boundary side with Jared. Yeah, Molino is all good. Seems like it was just cramp. Thanks, Jared. That's not a best of kicks, but it might be turned into something over there by Haynes, but he can't keep it, and he's been good as well. And the ball out of bounds on that far side, just around about the halfback line, 19 apiece. Out here at the HE Parker Reserve. So I'm going to throw it back in. There's kid number five. He's been colossal for South Belgrave today, just lurking around, looking for another possession. As the ball goes in, trying to work his way to the front spot was Treegard. He did well, but that won't be cleared. And I'm taken on the grounds. And we'll have a ball up. And that's uh, Costa with the football. So still locked up here at H.E. Parker Reserve. The umpire throws it up again. Treegard. In fact, Brown might have got the knockout that time. Nicely picked up there by McDonald. As the ball comes infield, it's batted forward. Here's a chance for South Belgrave. Going without it there was Brown. And it's all a bit untidy. Comes back now. Here's a chance. Here's Kit again. Goes to the uh, this half forward line and he finds a target. That's a beautiful little kick. He just looked up. A little bit of instinct there, really. There was plenty of people around him. And Forbes has taken the mark. And you'd expect him to kick this from a pretty handy position. Gee, that was well done there by Bartels to execrate that ball out of that scrimmage. So the only tricky thing about kicking today is this breeze which we haven't quite got our heads around in fact it's a uh, Garner or it is Garner that uh, took the mark next rival boy former hawk Garner nice deliberate approach there's Look at the that. kick it's beautifully struck and Garner puts it straight over the goal umpire's head he's had a very good season as well it's his 22nd goal for 2000 it was beautiful to, uh, 2021 and uh, on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard Bel South Belgrave back in front again it's a topsy turvy contest 4-1-25 plays 3-1-19 Three goals to one early in this quarter here. See South Belgrave, even though they're a goal in front, they look like they're just starting to take control of the midfield. Great to see everybody's got that healthy feel about them today. A lot of people out, you know, getting their exercise <laughs> and uh, stopping past the ground as it comes in now. 
Black trapped the football. He was brought to ground that time by Stevens. I said play on. It's the Saints, though, with the numbers, and they switched the ball out wide, and here's Walls. He'll take off here. He had a bounce. Probably didn't need to do so, but pokes the ball inside forward 50, looking for Garner, who got nudged out of it in the end. He wanted the free kick. The umpire said, you're not tricking me, Sonny Jim. I think he had a case. Ah, uh, nah, it was Tiggy Touchwood. He played for it as a good arm, good solid arm over the fence. Uh, sees the ball back in the arms of the boundary umpire and we'll have a ball in about 25 metres, 30 metres out from South Belgrave's goal. So it'll be Smith going up that time, got the palm down, but it was nicely done there by Evans, the big man. He got the handball away, the quick kick out of the danger zone, go, goes straight down the throat of Silva, who spears the ball inside. He was looking for Odomat, it was knocked away from him. Black was in there, he had support there from Kidd. Kidd quickly wrapped up, that's Aiden, and we will have a ball up. It's true centre half forward here. South Belgrove have really ramped up the intensity on the contest in this quarter. So the umpire throws it up. They might get a chance to get it out here. A little toe poke off the ground that time there by Withers. The kick goes Goldwood and uh, sees it through for one behind. So quick bit of play there by the Saints. Stretch their lead out here by one point. So it's out to seven. 19 plays, 26. We've gone 10 minutes in the second term. Bit of a dangerous five minutes here for Heathlon. I know it's only seven points, but with the wind and South Belgrave kicking three goals to one this early in this second quarter, it is a bit of a worry that this could blow out. Yeah, well said, Ryan. Very good point as we wait for the ball to be uh, returned for the umpteenth time today. A couple of extra balls wouldn't go and miss at each end, but I suppose that uh, at all costs... Good old Manhattan Hotel sign behind the goals. Mm. Gotta love the hat. So finally Joel Burley does get the ball back and he will send it back into play. Not a lot of urgency, but now he goes for a run, hoists it high as the wind gets up again, and you can see the ball hanging up in the wind. Treguard almost got it, but it goes to ground. That might be holding the ball. Now the umpire says it was okay, came out in the tackle. On How the ground they go. High though. Ripped his head off. And the umpire, what have we got here? A free kick? No. No, just another uh, ball up. Did look a bit high. Up it goes again. Here's the tap down from Evans this time for Heath Mott, but nicely roved by Kidd. Kidd gets it inside 50, but it's a little overcooked. Odomat ran past it. Now it's on the ground. Pressure on the Heath Mott defence here. Nicely done by Stevens. Gets it as a little ball over the top to Burley. And they'll switch the play. Heath Mott, it's a dangerous kick, though, but they'll get away with it. And Merritt takes the mark in the opposite pocket. And that looked dicey for a moment, but they knew what they were doing. Heath Mott, good play. So Merritt hoists it out towards the... Uh, the halfback flank trying to get a hand on it there. That looked like almost a hold. It was Quirk it was who... It's a good result. They didn't have much going forward on this side of the wing. No, they did not. So out of bounds as we'll have a throw in. Tough game to call this one even at this early stage. It's uh, seven points at the moment, but you get the feeling it's going to be uh, touch and go all afternoon. Finally, the ball comes in. Nice tap out there from Evans. Goes to ground, but they can't clear it. And it'll be... In fact, they do clear it. It comes out there nicely, and it's worked away as uh, Burley. Ryan Burley on the ground. He was terrific last time we saw Heathmont play. And we'll have another ball up. So Declan Forbes just hovering around there. In fact, he finished up being in the ruck, but he was a bit out-muscled that time. Good work there. Cries of holding the ball as I think it was uh, Savory went to ground. Now it's in the hands there of Molino. It's a funny old kick and they've turned it over. So South Belgrave can get it. Wakefield went without it. And the umpire says we'll come back for a free kick. So it's going to be paid to Wakefield. Well, they cop one around the mush there I think. Put his head over it. Good so courage. Wakefield. He'll go down the line here, trying to find a target. It's uh, not a bad kick. That, playing for the free kick there big time was Connolly, but there was no push there, and the ball goes out of bounds, and we'll have a throw in. At the moment, South Belgrave have got the game where they want it, on their terms. Well, Heath Monum barely gone forward, to be honest. No, they haven't. On 13 minutes into this second term. So Evans in the front spot, Robertson over the back, got a really good tap on that one and they might link up in through here. Handball by Withers, got it to Kidd, Kidd goes inside forward 50, a beautiful Ooh. knock away that time, it was just in the nick of time as well. As it comes out, here's Milovic, he kicks the ball inside forward 50, deep into Ooh. the forward pocket. The umpire says play on, running across there was Brown, he was trying to keep it alive. Oh, I think we've got an injury here. Boundary. 
Got Stan Bandry side to Jared. Well, Beatley. we'll get to the injury soon, but it was Wade Van Leeuwen who had the uh, clutch spoil there in the end. Uh, he's had a couple of very good moments in this quarter. Well, we will be back soon for that injury as it comes in now, barging his way through. Brown got the handball away. Oh, that is just really, really good football. And they just couldn't finish it off, South Belgrave. We're almost looking for a highlight play of the day type styles there. But nonetheless, go back to the drawing board. 14 minutes gone in this second term. 4 3 27 to 3 1 19. Looks to be that shoulder, as this. Yeah, it might be a sting. Hopefully, it's just a stinger. But tell you what, he clutched it as soon as he felt the contact. Certainly did. Kick comes in now. Van Leeuwen goes out wide. Spots up his teammate there in McDonald. No, I think it's in Brown. Brown, Brown, Brown sorry, I should say. Can't miss that man, but BWS. Can't. Well, you can't. You definitely can't, and I'm jealous. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> He's handsome. <laughs> On the right. Beautiful kick by Hanson in towards the middle and Osborne going back with the flight. Took a courage mark there. Probably a little bit too slow to get up though, if you ask oh, me. And now he's on. been pinged. So he goes, uh, he let himself down there. It was a great mark, but then just needed to be faster with moving it on here. And that's something that South Belgrave have been really good at doing as well. As the kick goes up towards a half forward line, Brown, who really presents when he's needed and he kicks the ball absolutely centimetre perfect. That was fantastic down. kick. And the mark has been taken only about, well, 25 metres out to uh, Garner, who will go back and probably kick this one, you know, back to Roville, basic, based on his last kick, and we'll have a shot. We'll cross down boundary side very shortly, but we'll back in Garner here as he starts his approach. They currently lead it by eight points, the Saints. So we'll stretch it to a handy 14. Comes in now, very direct approach, leans over it, and like the last one, the goal umpire does not move. Second goal on the board to Garner, and let's cross down boundary side to Jared. Yeah, he really reminds me of someone like Brady Majacek, Garner. He floated down towards the defence as Haithmon had the ball, but then completely lost his opponent on the charge back to the forward line to gather that one and kick the goal ultimately. And just an update on Tim Smith, guys. So I spoke to the trainers. It's the left shoulder, as you correctly noted. Uh, it's not discarded, still in, which is a good sign. Uh, he did... He was just holding it very still, obviously not moving it much. They're doing an assessment now, so we'll get an update on it, but not looking too good, but I'll I'll hold my judgment. Thanks, Matty. Hopefully just a stinger for Smith's uh, perspective and the South Belgrave faithful. They won't want to lose him. Certainly not this close to finals. So, ball back in the middle. 14 points the margin now. And the wind is uh, playing a significant role. Whoever's playing to that uh, bottom end of the ground is certainly kicking the majority of the goals. And if it continues like that, South Belgrave will have, will have the wind in the last quarter. It's a very simplistic way of looking at it, but it's the way the game's gone so far. Once again, the umpire just taking an age to, to get the ball back to the middle. As the ball goes finally up, and it's uh, won by Bel South Belgrave out of the middle, but the tap goes astray. Batting it forward there, trying to get his hands on it, was one of the uh, South Belgrave players, but it's nicely done there and taken away nicely there by Bartels. Bartels slams it onto the boot, getting it to half forward. Mark not taken. Spills away there. Gosball it was. In fact, it was Burley of the uh, Ryan Var Joel variety sorry, on the ground. And we'll have a ball up. And just outside the forward 50. So you feel the next goal is starting to get a little bit important from a Heathmont point of view as uh, it was Robertson who went into the ruck that time. Free, kick, Heathmont. free kick for Heathmont. So that'll give them a bit of a respite. They need to try and get some momentum back here, Heathmont. Otherwise, they could find themselves out of the game very quickly. They Bur barely copped one almost off the ball then. <laughs> So off half back they come. Here's the kick. Long kick forward. There's that man again who's played particularly well. It's Wakefield. Corey Wakefield goes down the line. He's got plenty of uh, space there and he finds it in Odomat. Odomat wheels around onto that trusty left boot. Now he goes to the hot spot, but the mark is going to be taken back there. Beautifully done. I think it's a Sheriff, is it? Savory. Yeah. Savory, sorry. So Savory. Little Ooh. short kick. Well, that's a dangerous kick and it's been uh, lost, but there may be a, that's a soft free kick. I'm sorry, that really is a... That's a I'm going to say it was fair. Uh, it was pretty touch 50-50, uh, but we'll give it to uh, Heathmont. The umpire's already done that as the ball goes out wide. <laughs> <laughs> Not really in a position to get in there and take it off them as Black can't keep it in. <laughs> Wallace, it was, in fact. 
He almost held it, but it was just that last chop of the arms. Uh, and if, yeah, any, if it went the other way, yeah, it was, there was 50 50. One of those ones that you, whoever you go for, you say it was. You say it was unlucky, yeah, you're yeah. Probably, probably cool. So, ball comes in. It's uh, won by Heathmont out of the middle. It was Evans who got the tap that time. Now Heathmont, can they go forward? Little funny little kick, but it's going to be cut off there by Hudson, but he overran it. Trying to get it there was Silva. And we'll have another ball up as the ball goes to ground. Plenty of Heathmont defenders in there. So it's still a tight go, even though South Belgrave have got it out to 14 points. As the ball goes up, up they fly. Easily won there by Robertson out of the middle. Nice work there by Kitty. He's had a storming game for South Belgrave. Trying to pick it up there was Wallace. <laughs> We had a whistle, but we're going to play on for the moment as uh, Heath might go forward for one of the few times in this quarter. Can they hit a target? Beautiful. Yes, they can. Bajramov again. He's having a storming game, and he comes forward and takes a great mark. And this will be very timely. He's kicked one so far today, and they could deal with a second here. It's a must kick. They don't get too many opportunities going down this end of the field, uh, especially with that win. So they've, do they've done well. They've, they've, if he kicks this, that's two goals from about three or four inside 50s. He's looked a really good player, this boy. He's uh, he's really caught my eye this afternoon as he comes in. Having given him the rap, he'll probably miss it. But here we go. Bajramov looking for his second of the day, and he's got it. You can tell by the crowd. So Bajramov puts it through. And a much needed goal to Heathmont. That'll make them feel a whole lot of happier on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. That margin is back to eight points. It's 5-3-33 South Belgrave leading Heathmont for 125 as we go boundary side with Matt Fodia. Yeah, update on Tim Smith. So they've just run off and got some ice from inside, and they're applying that to the left shoulder. I've tried to get the old uh, signal to see if he's done for the day. The trainer, she's given me the 95%. He's done. She didn't look like she had the authority to rule him out. But ice on the shoulder is usually a bad sign for returning, so I think Tim Smith's done for the day. Yeah, I think you can yeah, pretty much... Back yourself in, Matt. Back, back yourself, yourself in, in that one. Pai throws it up now. Got an eight-point margin, and Heathmont, chance to go forward again. Standing in front. I'll tell you what, what a ripping mark that was, taken by Young, who's going to take off now and kick the ball in towards Bajramov. And comes out in front, takes the lace out, so he'll have a ping from... 45 metres right in front of us here in the grandstand. So, well, this will be a really, if he kicks this, this will be a really good goal because the wind's a little bit, still a little bit fluky. So, Bajramov, let's kick two. And we've got the perfect view here. To be the leading goal kicker on the ground, because Garner has two at the other end. Comes in now, starts it right, it's going to fade right as well. It'll even stay in play and uh, good defensive fist over for a rush behind by the South Belgrave defenders. Sees it through. We're into time on here in the second term. Seven point margin. South Belgrave leading 33 to 26, Besto. So South Belgrave thump it down the line. Long kick. Lee, Beautiful Odermatt. mark. Odomat takes a mark in the middle of the ground and, and he might get 25. Absolutely it was. And so unnecessary there. It was Savory that just caught him as he tried to play on quickly. Let's watch the replay, but I'm sure it was Savory that just collected him as he tried to uh, turn and go. It was, and the umpire says we'll have 25 metres, so... Guessing he's going to watch that mark at least 50 times. So here he comes, Odomat. He puts it onto the boot. It's not going to have the distance. It's going to pull up in the goal square as they fly high. Ball goes to ground. Can someone crumb it on the ground? There was uh, Carroll, I think it was. Boundary. And it'll be wrapped up as we go. Boundary side with Matt Fodio. Yeah, Ryan noted that Heathmont had probably had five minutes of dominance there and tried to get two goals on the board. It happened to coincide when Liam Kidd was off the ground. So I reckon every time he's on the ground, South Bowe have a dominating possession. So up it goes again. It's uh, won by Heathmont, but I think there was a whistle there. And we'll have a free kick going the way of the defending side, you would imagine. And it is. Campbell, he's done well, I reckon, Campbell for Heathmont. He's, he's made a presence in every contest this afternoon. Certainly has. This guy's played a right to Haynes, just across the half-back line as he goes for a bit of a run. Going to switch it back to the other side. Not a lot to, to go forward to, and he finds his target over there, but they've got to go forward. Though. It's a nice little transfer, and off goes Van Leeuwen. He's played a right too as he slams it down the ground to about half forward. Uh, sorry, uh, centre, centre wing as the ball goes through the hands of Young on the ground there, but they've won it again with Van Leeuwen, but he won't get that clear, and it'll be wrapped up in the uh, South Belgrave player on top of it. And that's Declan Forbes, and the umpire says we'll have a ball up. So we've had 23 minutes gone. And uh, this would be huge if uh, Heathmont could pinch a late one here. Up it goes. 
and they'll be aware of that as uh, Robertson does some good work in the ruck again. He's been good as the ball comes out, and we've got a whistle, but it's play on for the moment, and here's Heathmont going forward now. There's the kick inside 50. Oh, is that yeah, a free kick? Yeah, you've got to hold. That's holding. Yes, he's paid it. Has yeah. he paid it? Yeah, he, he has. has. He has paid. That certainly looked like it from where we were sitting. As the kick came in, it was a beauty, and you can just watch Bajramov as he came forward, and he definitely got a nudge in the back. And this is an easier kick than the one that he missed just a couple of minutes ago, although no kick, as we said, is easy today, and this will be huge if this goes through. There's a castle dine. He was just that half a metre behind him and just had the left arm on the jumper in the lead-up to the uh, the ball coming in then. So, look, it's not not huge, but it's, just, it's there. It's the letter of the law. Doesn't go for it, Bajramov. He puts the short kick in there, and the uh, South Belgrave defence is asleep. And Ryan Young has taken a mark, and this is a much better. This will be a much easier kick. That really is poor. It's almost like he telegraphed that one. It certainly was. You just run into that little space there, Youngy, and I'll kick it to you. It's it was just his distance. So Young, this to get it back to a one-point game in the shadows of halftime. 24 and a half minutes paid. Here's the kick. How's he struck it? It's there. Beautiful, Beautiful. kick. And the margin is back to a point, so Young puts it through, and we've got a game on our hands out here. The margin back to one point on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. It's uh, South Belgrave 5-3-33 to Heathmont's 5-2-32. Excellent last five minutes here by Heathmont to arrest the momentum back their way. And uh, two or three quick goals. Sees them only a point down. It starts in the middle, doesn't it? Yeah. They're starting to get their hands on the footy in the clear clearances and um, getting a bit more run. They looked a bit stagnant. They sort of just kicking it uh, to uh, up the line and not really hitting any targets. So the umpire throws it up. A big jump and fly there by Robertson, who went after his own ball again, but Burley got the handball away to his teammate, and then they went out towards the, the wing position where Quirk just couldn't quite trap it in the nick of time. Strong tackle there by Declan Forbes, and we will see a ball up. By waste no time either. Big flick over the back there by Robertson. It was clever, but went to Kidd, who was uh, quickly met by three Jets. Got to say, BD Albers, it's a, the game's really tightened up again, but I tell you another thing, that smell coming... Boundary. <laughs> wouldn't mind some roast heifer at halftime, I'll tell you. <laughs> Bio throws it up, and it comes out towards that merit direction. Somehow got boot to ball, and in the end it might work out OK for them, but the Saints had the numbers. Walls got the handball, and the 1-2 came back from Milovovic as they go down the wing position, moving the ball quickly and wasting no time. The kick went over the top there of Black's head. This might work favourably for the Jets, and they've got to go the closest way home out in front is Bajramov. Oh, he just knows one how one. to read the play, doesn't he? You can't he's beat him one on one. Evans is screaming for it. The big man in the forward arc. Short pass oh. was on that time by Bajramov. He couldn't quite hit up the target. Falling over at the crucial stage uh, was Haynes, who's disappointed in his efforts. Let's cross down boundary side. Just a couple of, just a couple of round of ground scores, guys. So East Bell to ramming home their advantage, according to our man Davis Harrigan. They're up by 38 points over Warrandyte. And Sylvan leads 6-5-41 to Forest Hill. 117. Right, to bring the ball back into play now. Keep those scores coming through. Plenty of great games as you go local for your footy today. 27 minutes almost tick over. You can see Luke Galliott going, are you kidding me, mate? That's on the full every day of the week. Probably agree with it. As the kick goes up towards the half-forward line for the Jets this time, the big fly over the back there by Young. And that is uh, the free kick going to South Belgrade. But I'll tell you what, not sure what for. Call it how we see it here. There's a uh, will be Castle Dine. Short pass in the middle. Here's an opportunity for him. A little bit too slow. Was Kid this time. The Aiden Variety got the handball away to the run of Darcy Walls, who dumps it inside oh, forward. Oh. 50. Garner went for the fly. He wanted to beat Odomat's uh, Specky from earlier. He's given away a free kick. Burley. That's Joel. Switches it out wide. Might just slow things right down on the eve of half time out here at HE Parker Reserve. And the Jets have done a good job to bring themselves back into this contest after a solid 20 minutes by South Belgrave had them dominating play, you would think. And now, if all of a sudden, the last 10 minutes, it's been Heathmont. So here's Jakey Sheriff on the right boot. He let himself oh. down with the disposal there. Makes the big, uh, makes it really tough this time for Merritt to trap it who went over the boundary line and just did a little bit of friendly advice from the opposing dugout as he hands the ball back to the boundary umpire. Throw the ball back in out here. 
Who's in, in no hurry. And brings it in now. Brown, front spot. Knocked down, Black overran it. Merritt was in there, quickly trapped as well. Fire the ball, this one up. Starts in place to spread out. Rucks go at it. And then trapped out of there by Kidd. Who I reckon they're did, holding the yeah, ball. Yeah, and he, was, he, he held it up as if he was claiming a mark almost. <laughs> um, but a free kick going the way of Ryan Burley, who's looking towards the centre. This way, that way, he's going to go backwards. So, certainly not afraid to play the switch. Zambros, bring it back to Sheriff. Sheriff goes out wide to Brown. And that's two in a row for Jakey Sheriff. At ordinary kicks. So it'll be Brown now of the South Belgrave side to bring the ball back in. Blakey's his way to the oh. front. Garner, that is sensational. We couldn't be, wasn't paid on the third attempt as the siren sounds to announce half time out here. Geez, that would have hurt as well. That was a fair old attempt. And what a game we're at, we've seen out here. And it's why we picked it. We're, uh, we're bang on when it comes to the game of the day. And at half time, it's a one point lead to South Belgrave. 5 3 33 to Heathmont, 5 2 32. Major goal kickers on the ground. Two to Damian Garner, whilst Ayan Bajamov has two goals for the Heathmont Jets. We hope you're enjoying the broadcast on the SEN app, Facebook, YouTube, and of course 98.1 Radio Weston. We'll come back with all the around the ground scores right after this, and of course, the second half. That he's got, and he's uh, got strong hands, and that's that's the dangerous thing that. Uh, with an, a forward 50 with so much space, that's where he's most dangerous. Yeah, his leading patterns are outstanding, and he's got on the end of a couple, uh, and just, I mean, he's, he's left his opponent for dead on a couple of occasions, so you sort of wonder if he's that good on that, whether it really matters who they put on him, but uh, it's certainly going to be something for consideration, I would say. I would say Luke Galliott, um, even though he'd be happy that they hold a one-point lead, he'd probably be a little disappointed uh, best day because for 20 minutes of that second quarter they were on, they were on top yep. and they were staring at probably a three or four goal lead. Yeah, without doubt. Like Heath might got those couple of goals late in the term to Bajramov, but before that, um, I was sitting here thinking this game just about might be over. It was out to about I think it was about a three goal margin, and it was just teetering. And you felt if South Belgrave had got the next one or the next couple, uh, that it would have been all over. But to, to Heath might's credit, they fought back. And I think Luke let them just reminded the reminded the players about that in the in the rooms at half time so it was a me uh, from what i heard it was pretty measured speech but nonetheless it was direct to the point so just waiting for things to get back underway once again this win's going to play a significant factor south belgrave as we said will have it behind them in the last quarter so that could be uh, quite interesting as the ball comes back into the middle and we're getting underway for the uh, third time up. They go. Nice one there by uh, Bajra, uh, uh, Trugart, should I say, out of the middle. The ball goes to ground. Heavy tackle. And on the bottom of that is Kit. He's been superb for South Belgrave this afternoon. And he wins the free kick. So first goal of this quarter will be important. If Heathmont can get in front, they just might get their gander up, you feel. Here's the long kick forward, looking for a target. Goes to about half forward, out wide, and that'll be another free kick. It's a free kick fest at the start of this uh, third quarter, and it'll go the way of South Belgrave again. They want to get it in quickly, trying to find a target. Smith's not there, but where's Odomat? Goes right over his head, bouncing across there, and they'll be able to just steady the ship here. Nicely taken by Ambrose back there, looking for a target. He chips it across. Nice call head into the back pocket. Marked by Brown. Brown goes for a run, goes down the line. Beautifully weighted kick. Finds Burley over there on the far side. So, just slowing it down, Heathmont. Playing with the advantage of the wind in this third quarter. So we've talked about it. Maybe a two, three goal advantage might be the way to go if they hope to win this game. Here's the kick down the line. That's a push in the back. I think it was Ryan Billy that got shoved in. And that'll be a free kick to Heathmont. So the Jets Boundary. go forward again as we go down boundary side with Matt Fodio. Yeah, in terms of the breeze, I was with Ryan about the three to four goal margin, but it has died off a little bit. I don't know if it'll pick up again, but at the moment it's not it's nowhere near as strong as it was in the first quarter. Thank you, Matty. So, as we get start, uh, get set for a restart, Ben Warren Smith. No, he's not here. I thought he was going to wanted in back beside me, but he's not here yet. So, we'll keep going. Long forward, long kick forward to half forward. Up they fly. Handball comes back from, uh, and it's on the ground. What have we yeah. got this time? Free kick. Yeah, free Which way is it going to go? Liam Kidd. Liam Hold, Kidd. Holding the man. So. Heathmont will be disappointed. They had a chance there. But a timely free kick for South Belgrave, and they'll be able to work their way out of defence here. 
Low kicks will be the order of the day. You want to kick it into the breezes. We've seen the ball hold up numerous occasions. Oh, Goes right wow. over the top of Robertson there. Here's the kick in board. That's a nice kick too. Nicely marked here by Kidd. Kidd goes off for a run. Is the uh, handball away. Now it's in the hands of Declan Forbes. He's caught in the middle of the ground. Great tackle there. That was Savory. Just a bit slow to react. So Savory gets the free kick. It's a funny old handball. Goes out wide. Kick down the line from Evans. And the mark is taken. Now they go in board. That's Ryan Burley in the middle of the ground. Quick transfer. Here they come, uh, Heathmont. Long kick forward to full four. They fly. And one of the uh, one of the Heathmont players went down with a huge hit there. And the ball's gone out of bounds on the far side. I reckon Van Leeuwen took the wrong option then. He had 10 metres in front of him. He could have run further and kicked the ball long to goal then. I think it was Bajramov that hit the ground very hard. But he's got up none the worse for wear. So the umpire to throw it in. And the right contest will be important. Just getting his hand to that one was Roberts, and he's been OK in the ruck too as the ball comes out. And that'll be wrapped up, and that'll be a throw surely as it came out there from, uh, I think it was McDonald, but the umpire said no play on. Ball goes into the tight stuff, and wrapped up nice and tight there by Molino. And we'll have another ball up just outside the 50-metre mar arc. Still only one point in it. And so up it goes. One by South Belgrave out of the middle. Ryan Burley draws a high tackle. And Heathmont, well, they're just continuing to pile on the pressure. Here he is, Ryan Burley. He's taking a bit of time as he just wanders back looking for someone to kick to. Needs to find a target. There he goes. Up they fly for it, but it was uh, going over the back. Black couldn't quite. In fact, it was Wallace. He couldn't quite take it. And it's out of bounds in the forward pocket. But uh, South Belgrave still under enormous pressure at the start of this third quarter. So, umpire to throw it in with the cricket nets in the background. The cricket season before we know it. As the ball goes in. Trying to wrestle his way to the front spot. Good work from Evans. He got the tap. He wasn't in the front spot, but he still got the knockout. And Bajramov is taken on the ground. And that'll be another ball up. So, it's a real arm wrestle here at the start of this third quarter. Up it goes. One by South Belgrave out of the middle. Knocked away. Burley's over there trying to get hands on it. Can't do so. Ball comes back nicely to Smith of the Michael variety. And another whistle. I know they've got Evans and, and Brown sharing the ruck duties, but I'm just wondering whether Nick Ruckley can roll the dice here, put Leif Campbell on the ball, put Finn, Finn Brown down at full forward and see if he can take a few grabs and get a couple of goals. Something certainly to consider, Brash, as the ball goes in. He's uh, one out of the middle there by Robertson. Now it's uh, out towards the... The boundary line, getting his hands on it over there. I think it was Van Leeuwen. Now it's on the ground again. Back it comes. Now they've got a chance here, South Belgrave. They haven't had too much to do, but a long kick forward there. It's not, but there's nobody at home. And Heathmite will tidy up, and the kick right across the uh, halfback flank, and Heathmite will rebound. That's not a great kick into the middle of the ground. That might be holding the ball. It was Van Leeuwen who went without it, but the umpire said we'll play on as the ball goes out nicely. Picked up there by Brown. Now he's got a bit of time here to turn around. He goes backwards in the hands here of Quirk. Quirk goes forward, gets it over the top, but the wind's going to take it and will blow it out of bounds in the right forward pocket. And the score remains as it did at uh, half time, just one point the difference. 5 3 33 to 5 2 32 on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. HG Parker Reserve, also known as Fort Knox, locking all the gates, I couldn't get back up here. <laughs> <laughs> I found my way. Pi to throw the ball back in. Unopposed in the end there was Evans, so was there shepherding off the ball here for the Ruckman to go up? I think it was, so Robertson will be the recipient. They're just in the defensive arc for the Saints. Still holding that one-point lead, hugs the boundary, and see so you no know, over the boundary line and out. Bit of a shank that kick. Certainly, well, I thought it was going up the full for a minute, but it just pitched inside. To see Joe Hart Parker in in the club rooms, who stalwart down here at the Heathmont Football Club. Handball out wide. 
Merritt up towards the half forward line. Came out Kid, look away handball almost. Scrambling kick in the arms of Brown who takes the mark and takes off to the races as well. Slams it down over Matt's throat who wastes no time. Swings around on the left and hits up Garner who could almost ping it from here, Damien. 55 metres out. It'd be silly not to back himself, to be honest. Yeah, left got left inside goalpost, Damien. He's going to swing it. Oh, he's tried to be oh. a little bit fancy. Uh, this time he's just going to kick it up towards the hot spot, but it might end up okay here as well. Working his way to the front was a big man, Castle Dine, who got dispossessed. Kid came in and just picked it up and then picked himself up. Robbie Savory, though, strong as an ox, brings him right back down to ground level. And we'll have a ball up 20 metres out from the Jets' goal line. Up from the Saints goal line, I should say. By throws it up. Little flick away there by Brown. Down the throw to Burley. Couldn't get boot to ball. Brown was there too. Laid the tackle, then got the ball out. Somehow, here's Odomat, who got boot to ball. Pushed it wide. Got knocked as he kicked it. So, he saw it go out of bounds on the full. So... The Ambrose, short Boundary. pass to Sheriff. Sheriff on the right boot, drives it out towards that half-back line and a good mark has been taken out there by Merritt who put himself under a fair old bit of trouble there. Got the handball back to Burley on the left. He'll square things up and the mark's been taken. It's crossed down boundary side to Jared. Yeah, we saw Castle down, down in the forward line. He was on Bajramov uh, during the first half. They've moved Ryan Silver onto Bajramov. Well, just don't kick it near Kid because every time you do, he takes the mark. And that's what he did that time. The Saints went forward, but now the Jets get to repel as the driving kick goes up towards the half forward line. It did an old Stephen Milne bounce and it favoured the Saints this time. So went away from Osborne, South Belgrave scramble a kick up towards the wing position but it's just all Heathmont at the moment here's Ambrose, squares it up into the middle of the ground where the mark has been taken by Merritt, went right then came back and then dumped the ball straight down the guts inside forward 50 it goes little handball out wide, this workout all right to Young, Young loads up Melino, can he put it through he can't, he was 25 out directly in front and he's shaved the outside of the post so it's a poster but it doesn't count, it was missing anyway and one behind on the board, so he scores level out here. Nine minutes gone into the third term. It's 33 apiece. So in a low-scoring game, can't miss opportunities like that. They can come back to haunt you. So scores are all tied up. What a game we've got out here at H.E. Uh, Parker Reserve. All bets still on at the moment as the kick into the back pocket finds its target in Silver. And Silver goes short, tries to find Connolly. He had it for a moment but lost it. Manages to get it out. They did well, actually. And the ball comes out, and it's Heathmont who were trying to get their hands on it, and they do. Little ball over to Burley. He's coming to it quite well in this third quarter. He hooks one forward. Can they get a mark? Nelly. Ball goes to ground there, and it's going to go out of bounds. I was I haven't screamed for two months, Brash, and Molino let me down there, and I was ready to roll. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell in the voice. <laughs> Warming up the vocal cords. So I'm to throw it in. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll get another opportunity. Intriguing match this one as the ball goes in. One by uh, Heathmont and on the ground just towed out. Now here's South Belgrave on the rebound. Can they get something going? That's a dangerous ball. I think it's okay in the end. Browns it well, but then he makes a mess of it and it goes out of bounds. Wasted opportunity. They looked like they were coming South Belgrave there. Just little mistakes like that at uh, crucial times can cost you. So 5 3 33 apiece out here at HE Parker Reserve. Conditions still uh, pleasant overhead. Bit of rain forecast later, but hopefully it uh, stays away. Ball towards the boundary line, and I think it was Forbes who knocks. In fact, it's uh, Kid who knocked it out. He's been brilliant for South Belgrave today. I just love his thirst for the contest, Brett. Liam Kid. It's uh, waiting for the ball to come back into play. So the umpire throws it now. We'll give that one to uh, Brown that time. Little handball by Ambrose. It's set up okay here for Osborne, who kicks the ball inside. 4.50. Oh. Bajramov got down, and did he hold it enough? He did. Did he? We've heard a whistle. Yeah, I doubt it. Uh, we've got I want to hear that. a little bit of chit-chat. A little odd bit of idle chit-chat just to pass Boundary. the afternoon by. Matt Fodio might have seen things closer. Yeah, the umpire's just said it's bounced. It's coming to ball up. RE, that rain. It's just passing over Horsham at the moment, Besto. So I don't know how you go with your, your weather maps and how quick that'll get here, but I reckon we might get away with it. Just in case <laughs> I brought a pink umbrella for old time's sake for Matt today <laughs> on the boundary line. Yeah, uh, <laughs> ball's hit the deck and we'll have a ball up. Got a similar feel to that first quarter where Heathmont controlled a lot of the play but just haven't been able to put it in on the scoreboard. Yep. 
And will knock forward, trying to get through with Stevens. Black was in there too. He was brought to ground uh, by Osborne, who came flying over the top. Kid says, listen here, young fella. <laughs> Bayer throws it up. Little flick over the back. Nicely done there by Evans. To advantage. The kick goes out of the defensive zone. Out towards Brown, who's had a very good game for South Belgrave. F found Garner, who squared it up. And he hit up the uh, tree guard, the Ruckman, who takes off. And there's an up-and-under kick. He's looking for Odomata, was uh, who overran it in the end. Savory was there to mop up the pieces. Got the handball away to Van Lewin, who's up the back. He's looking for a target. So he takes off sideways, has two bounces. Uh, shows a bit of uh, turn about him as well, as he handballed it straight down Quirk's throat and said he's a hospital handball if ever you've wanted one. What a, <laughs> and he's brought to ground. To what a horrible handball. <laughs> that was shocking, isn't it? Yes. Bandages and uh, things to come as well as the ball goes up and up they fly. And a good jump up there from Robertson. Fantastic vertical leap. Knocks it down and here they come forward against South Belgrave. Can they get a mark inside 50? Almost taken there by Garner through his hands. They've still got a chance so they hook it back inside the 50 metre line. Goes through the legs. Bit of a... Uh, and boss, they're under enormous pressure here, but they managed to just hold on for the moment, Heathmont, as they put a little kick into the middle of the ground, and they're going to get out of it. A little bit fortunate, because they were sixes and sevens for a while. But the mark is taken at half-back, and they'll be able to just settle it down now. A little kick to about centre wing. Beautifully marked over there, taken by Young. So Young just slowing it down. He says, we'll just go short down the line here, and hits the target. Or does he? Well, it's going to be either a free kick or a mark, whichever you prefer. Free kick, it looks like. And so Quirk with the ball. Quirk goes in board and finds Merritt. Merritt goes across. There's been a lot of this sort of play today. Just going across the ground. Nice little ball inside. Van Lewin's off. Can he find a target? He decides to go out wide, and this is going to be an uncontested mark taken by Black. Can he put it through? He goes into a beautiful kick, and he picks out Aiden. That's a magnificent boundary. piece of play. As we go boundary side with Matt Fodio. That's Well, that's the first time Heathmont on this quarter have actually lowered their eyes going inside forward 50. So lot, much like the first quarter, they've dominated all the play, but have just kept bombing it long. A lot of their forwards are staying deep, and it's taken Ryan Young, who Got the, who took the mark on half-back to actually provide an option for someone to kick low at. Barjamov, all the tools, they're sitting too deep and South Belgrave are flooding numbers back, whereas in the second quarter, South Belgrave, Garner, Odomat, they let up at the footy, so they've just got to make sure that they're lowering their eyes, the Jets. Kids kick, how's it looking? It's there, I think. Yes, he's kicked it. Ryan Young puts it through. No relation. Ryan Young. So, Heath might get their noses back in front in this topsy-turvy clash. 6-3-39 plays, 5 three. Who kicked that goal? I thought Ryan it was... Ryan Young. Ryan Young. Okay. So, it was Ryan Young. I had a kid... I'm looking at the wrong uh, team, that's why. It's a Ryan Young. And you, you, you had Black pass it to him, but it was actually Wallace, the other number 50, <laughs> mate. So... Um. <laughs> Oh, don't worry about me. Turn your, to pick turn on, your yeah. blues into blacks and blacks yeah, into blues. I'm just colourblind. <laughs> Umpire throws the ball back up now. Six points to margin. The Jets go forward again. Driving kick towards Bajramov. Oh. Mount in front. You little beauty. He takes it 30 metres out. And expect him to go back and put this one through. And that, in that case, it'll be two in a minute. Wayne Brasher with a big smile on his face. Yeah, it is. And you finally got to raise your voice. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the closest way home. The stoppage, bang, straight down the guts. Hope your forwards are in front. Exactly. Take the mark, kick the goal. If only it was as easy as that. Bajramov comes in now, and he has yes, pushed yes. it to the left-hand side. Do you put an extra Ooh. defender down there or someone, just a loose defender or someone to get in front of him? Because that's that seems to be, again, uh, when he's got plenty of room in front of him. Yeah. You're Absolute right. Absolute coach killers, those on ones. A one-on-one, -on one-on-one -on -one battle, I don't know who you put on him. I think he wins pretty much against anyone. Well, especially if you're getting the ball. Boundary. It's cross town boundary side to Jared Beanland. They have been trying to put uh, players out in front of Bajramov. However, that was the center clearance, so it's a 6-6-6. They weren't able to uh, do that straight away. So someone's just hobbling over there. I think it's, uh, wait till he turns around. It's uh, old mate uh, Treegart, who's played particularly well, but he might have caught one on the ankle there. He's going to be okay, I think. He's got himself set to go back into the ruck contest. Let's see how he jumps. Not terribly well, so we might have to keep an eye on him as the ball comes out. Trying to pick it up there was McDonald on the grounds. And the umpire says, well, ball it up. Yeah, he's very ginger on that foot. Yeah, it's funny that this ball up is brought to you by Berman Brothers. So, up it goes. 
<laughs> Just getting a little bit of a guest commentary coming in there as the uh, ball up again. Seven points the margin. So it's still very tight. One out of the middle by Treegart on the ground Ooh, there. Oh, look out, boys. Wakefield. Bruce is coming. So Wakefield tackled. What have we had? 16, uh, nearly 17 minutes in this quarter. Up it goes. One nicely by Evans. He's been good. Bouncing away there was Brown, but he couldn't quite uh, control it. Still, Heath might bat it forward as they try and get something going. Ball on the ground there. Wallace it was. He got the handball out. Now a little chip inside 50. Can they get a mark? It's to absolutely nobody in particular. And going back there and doing well was Castledine. And sees it over the boundary. Can't help but feel that Heath might have had a lot of opportunity here, but they've, I reckon they've wasted possessions yeah. here. Play to bring the ball back into play. In front this time, Robertson. I think you go on there, Finn. I think uh, that would no. be pretty stuff, uh, stiff on, Brin, on Finn Brown if that happened. Uh, we've seen worse, paid. <laughs> Big fly that time there by Robertson. And sees a quick clearing kick out. Safely held across the half back line. So good good chance for the Saints here just to load up and kick towards the Odomat direction, who had two bites at it, brought to ground. Little handball back. Here's a chance for Sheriff, who finally traps the ball, got the handball to Savory. Savory linked up okay here. Little chip kick by Haynes, went out towards the Burley direction, whose handball was smothered over the boundary off. line and out of bounds. Yeah, he's my player down in the, uh, just on the wing there, far side. Yeah, as best I said, Trigart has uh, boundary. Ho hobbled off. As I think that's Sheriff that's hit the deck over there. Matt Fody at boundary side. Yeah, so Aiden Black came off. He was hobbling a little bit, but he's fine. Trainers left him alone. He's just sitting on the bench grabbing a blow. Trigard's come off. He's pointed to around about the bottom of his right glute. glute sorry, not glute. Glute and uh, upper hamstring. So it'll be interesting to see. He's jumped on the physio table. They're going to work on it. He doesn't seem too alarmed. Might just be a corked hip. Middle either. If my player hasn't moved yet, so that's a bit concerning. Can we see who that is, Maddie, on the I ground? I think it's Jake Sheriff, guys. Yeah, I think it might be too. We can't. We can't. You guys have probably got a better chance. We're on a little bit of a dome here, um, so well, he's the on the other side of the dome. The stretch is right next yeah, to me. So it's, it's Sheriff. Like Sheriff. It is Jake Sheriff. So yes, he's uh, looking a little bit worse for wear. So seven-point margin. We've had uh, 90 minutes in this third quarter. He's getting up, Sheriff, but he looks. Uh, yeah, well, it could be, the case, could be the case of the walking wound by the end of the day. Yeah, attrition rate could play a a big part. I think he's probably going to at least come off for a spell. Opportunity and for both sides just to do a, a makeshift huddle here. Yeah. Just a couple of around the ground scores while we get a chance. Mulgrave lead uh, Baronia 8 5 to 5 4 34. Oh. So. Oh. No. What do you mean, no? I didn't think that was going to be happening. <laughs> Dan, so it messed up your Look. tips for another one, Fresh. The Hawks' finals <laughs> chances could be done by the end of today. Yeah, could be. Yep. East Burwood lead Warren Dyke 7-5, 47-5, 4-5, 29. Oh, Spider will be happy. Uh, Croydon North Emlock look like they'll have their second win of the season. 7-9, oh, really? 51 to kill sites. 1-12, 18. So oh, inaccuracy, oh, wow. inaccuracy at its best. Told be, you, Brash. Be a big yeah. night down at Croydon Emlock tonight. And Sylvan still lead 8-7-55 to Forest Hill 2-4-16. So they need to win every, every game from the rest of the season to have any chance of finals. So still alive. Gee, I'm glad I'm not in any official tipping comps. Otherwise, I'm done for. I'll tell you what, Jake Chair is looking not, not terribly well. I'd be surprised it's if he... It's a concussion, uh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Be surprised if he came back on. And so even if it is a concussion, he'll have the... the uh, oh, he's not coming back on. No, no, no. He's, he's Obligatory 20 minutes anyway. He, so. he can't look up at the moment, guys. He's um he's holding his head. He's wincing. I, I, I don't think he'll be coming back off. They're not taking him through the gates either. So, no. so it's him done for the day. So as we talked about, attrition rate starting Update to... Update on Trigard, though. Or again, yep. I apologise if I'm saying that incorrectly. They get the old uh, the quick-fire gun. I don't know what they're called. You know, the ones that go really fast. And you, they're the massage guns. That's what they're called. They were pumping that into his right glute. Then he told the physio to go down towards the hamstring. So, again, interesting to see what the actual problem is there while Jake's, Jake's he's, he's conscious, like he's opened his eyes. Next thing you'd be telling us, he's got the magic spray. Well, they might have the magic spray, Rash. I can go ask. He's, oh. All right, he's now joined him on the bench. He's, he's definitely not ruled out. When he runs back on, ask him how, what he, how, he say, how to say his name. <laughs> <laughs> the umpire throws the ball back in. Knocked back 
towards the paint now. They've kept it alive. Little handball over the top. Burley crunched. Got the handball away. Ambrose just couldn't quite trap it inside the boundary line. And over she goes. Interesting, isn't it, how class players always emerge when the game's on the line. And Burley just absolutely colossal in this third quarter. Tell you what, those ice baths are going to get a hammering tonight. <laughs> Pyre brings the ball back in. Evans and Robertson. Evans won out and then got gang tackled. He might even get pinged here. Yep, he has been holding the ball. So you, you take on three players and you yeah. don't get rid of it. What, you, what do you expect? He's not happy, but... It's a bit of bad luck. He'll have to get over it. As the kick goes up towards the low to mat direction out in front. Good jukes. So... Lee swings around now. He's going to drive the ball forward. The big fly by Smith over the back. Savory just couldn't quite hold it. Hanson got the handball out. It was picked up, though, by Forbes. They'll swing around now. South Belgrave kick it right towards the hot spot, but nobody Ooh. is home. And the Jets have the numbers. This time it's been trapped by Van Leeuwen. Got the timely handball away. His kick was smothered, though, Gospel, but he got a second chance at it. Knocked it over to Quirk. They've knocked it oh, pretty close to the boundary line. Van Leeuwen eventually just brought over. Um, and uh, that was certainly enjoyed by... That was really good pressure there by the South Belgrave forward 50 to lock that ball in. All right, umpire right in front. The grandstand here. Evans went up unopposed and now uh, got the handball away. Here's Gosball in towards the middle of the ground. Intended target there was Wallace. It was knocked away from him. Kicking side by Robertson up towards the pocket. But it was well done there by Ambrose who fell over just at the crucial stage. He got the linking handball up but it was to the wrong teammate. Bartels on the left boot. Will oh. it bounce through? No, it won't. Savory oh. got a finger tipper on it. It nearly bounced over the top of his head and that would have been some sort of a goal. Boundary. But it is uh, back to a six point lead out here. 34 to 40 as Heath might bring the ball back in and we go boundary side. Yeah, Caden Buck's fine. He's just jogged back onto the ground. Left ankle's all good. good out stuff, towards Maddie. the wing. Now it's Burley. Sorry, Besto. Got the little handball away. Trying to trap it that time. Castle dying over. She goes for a boundary throw in. So, ball out of bounds. And we've still got a game to uh, be decided. 23 and a half minutes gone on this third quarter. Heath might have had a good quarter, but... Uh, Plenty to play for. It'll be a long one, this one, too. Indeed, with all the injuries that we've had, it's going to be a bit of a war of attrition as the umpire throws it in. And we're on a week his way. It was uh, Evans who got the tap over the top of Robertson that time of lot. Robertson's game today. I think he's been really good for it. South Belgrave as the ball goes over the fence on the far side. And we'll have another boundary throw in. In fact, it's a free kick, as you were. So Ryan Burley, he's been uh, really started to come into the game in this third quarter as he gets his kick down to about half forward. Trying to find a target. Punched away, though. Evans, no, he's not quite quick enough to get there. Van Leeuwen got it and, in fact, did really well, Van Leeuwen. Gets his left foot kicked forward. Can they hit a target? Inside 50, they go. It's an awkward kick, and it's bounced into the hands of Bashamoff. Why did he pass it? And he gets a kick away, and in the end, it's Brown. Finn Brown it was. He put it through, but I'm not sure why Badger... No, he it. needed to, and it was really clever play because if you see, the the, the ball did a wrong one, and then he had the link-up handball straight away into Brown for a certain goal. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can see it. Now, just at the time, it looked like he may have been able to go himself, but uh, great awareness by Badger. He's had a storming game, and he gives it off to Finn Brown. He puts it through, and that margin suddenly out to a, a little handy 12-point-up, 7-4-46 to 8-4-34 on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Ball to dominate. Uh, dominance that they've had this quarter. That was an important one to get. They really have uh, had most of the play, I would say. Let's have a ball up. It's almost like we're in slow motion at some points today, isn't it? Is it a big fly that time? No one got it. It was a fresh air shot by Robertson in the end, going up against Evans. Ball hits the deck. Diving over it was Stevens was in there. Little handball out. I said, nah, you had long enough. Give it back. Plenty for players to clear out. We've got 12 points of margin here. Heath might have the lead. And the chance to get it out of the middle stoppage as it goes up towards the half forward line. Osborne charges out in front, paddled it to his advantage. Right on his hammer was Phil Costa. Boundary. She goes for boundary throwing, which is where we'll head now. 
Yeah, so again, trigger update. Did a few run-throughs. Looked to be a bit in, uh, in a little bit of pain. Was wincing slightly. Back on the physio table. Different physio this time. They're working on a different <laughs> stretch. Still the right leg. This time he's sort of going across. Sort of like when you're on your back, you do a hip across stretch. I, I still think they have no idea what's wrong with him, but he's in a bit of pain. <laughs> uh, well done there, Dr. Fott. Is it a uh, handball over the top? And... And well, they, he nearly took he nearly took a mark on the physio table there as the kick goes out of bounds on the ball. Ball comes back in through Harry Isaacs. He had a little joke with the uh, coaching panel from South Belgrave. As the kick goes in, kicks it right to the hot spot in the end. It almost fell down the throat of Bajramov as a handball by Silva over the top. Got dispossessed. He'll go after it again. Brought to ground. Quick kick out of that danger zone, but nobody's home. Van Leeuwen, handball over the top. Geez, there's a lot of players around the football here. Bouncing football. Comes out now. He's scooped upon. This time by Isaacs. Got it away. Jesus, nothing clean. Give it to Savory. He'll do something with it. Floats the ball inside forward. 50. It came out. Molino around the body. Can't curl enough back. And and through it goes for a minor score. 27 minutes tick over in the third term. 13 points is the margin. 7 5 47 Heathmont, 5 4 34 South Belgrave. So you almost feel like uh, Heathmont are desperate for another goal. It's almost like they feel that they haven't quite done enough in this quarter. We talked about it being a three goal lead, maybe at three quarter time they'd be looking for. Well, it's just short of that at the moment. South Belgrave to bring it back in. It's 13 points. We've had 27 minutes gone out towards uh, the wing. Trying to get his hands on it there was uh, Smith, and we've got a whistle. And it's going to be a free kick to Heathmont. Okay, so it's in the hands of Haynes. 25. Cop, 25. Cop, cop, cop one in the bread basket. 25. What a, this used to be a huge kick if he can slot this through right on the stroke of uh, three quarter time. So it'll be a long kick. Umpires, or the mark's probably about three or four metres inside the 50 metre arc, plus the angle. I'm going to say that Michael Smith had just, a few told, words. Had just told the umpire how it wasn't a free kick. Pretty good chance. Jordan Haynes goes off the mark and then wheels around, but that's not going to get it done. It's going to go across the face. Up they fly. Mark almost taken there, but it goes through for a point. Could be, it be a handy one. 7 6 48 to 5 4 34. And we're 28 and a half minutes into this last third term. I almost think here, if Heathmont can get that goal and get 20 points up, it's going to take a good 10 minutes of football by South Belgrave in the last quarter to arrest that lead. Good roost by Darcy Walls on the kick out. And it'll be a free kick to Brown, I think. Or it might be Smith who goes, he gets one back. So Michael Smith. Gets it up towards... The wing almost half forward line over the back there. McDonald tried to claim the mark. It was never his to begin with. They got the handball away to Haynes on the ball up towards the half forward line. Over the top there of Osborne's head. The foot race in shoes. It's Hudson versus Brown. The little knockout. Keys Ambrose barged his way through. Got it to Brown. Brown links up magnificently. Molino over the top. It is an easy one as you like. That'll get the few people walking through the ground excited, won't it? Taylor Walker hits his second goal of the afternoon. And on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard, the lead is stretched out here. 8 6 54. We've got that 20 point margin Brash was talking about. South Belgrave, 5 4 34. Yeah, very important now that lead. 20 points. That's four kicks for South Belgrave. They might need to pinch one here, Ryan, on the, yeah, on the death was, knock, I reckon. I was about to say, that one really hurt so close to three-quarter time just to give away, because they were doing pretty well to keep it uh, just the two goals to the quarter, but if they can get one back and at all, worst-case scenario, they can't give up another one. So, ball back in the middle. No wonder Heath want to play. Apparently, they've got Taylor Walker playing for them. Mr. Ball goes forward. <laughs> Is the ball socket off the ground? Can they get one late in this term? South Belgrave. Odomat can't pick it up. Finished up getting a bit of a toe poke towards the boundary. Best result he could probably have is it would go out of bounds. Picked up nicely there and uh, diving in field there was uh, number 25, Hanson. Gets it forward. It's at about half forward. South Belgrave, you can see there desperately. That's a terrible hand pass. So, straight to Robertson. And this could really be a killer. It goes oh. right over the top. And they may just hang on here. Bajramov is it? Yes, he's got the ball. Look at his strength. Got it away there. They've got a huge opportunity. Of Brown and Brown puts it through. Finn Brown has put it through. And that is just huge from Bajramov. Won the ball. Got the handball away. And Finn Brown says, thank you very much. And South Belgrave in a bit of trouble, boys. Boundary. 
as we go boundary side. Yeah, it was a couple of low balls inside the forward 50 for uh, Heathmont that caused those goals. They didn't allow South Belgrave to set their defenders. Uh, the first one was Haynes. It didn't quite hit a target. That's what set up the Wallace goal and that last one there as well, just not allowing South Belgrave to have an answer. The two South Belgrave players uh, collide with each other. Suddenly you're down two people in the back line uh, just in that uh, certain passage of play, which really hurts. Got that off with a handball with just in the nick of time he did. Could have almost been pinged the other way. Ball in the middle, Burley. Wrapped up. We'll have a ball up. We said it would be a long quarter, given the amount of stoppages and players coming off the field probably within the last minute though still and maybe a chance for South Belgrave to get some momentum before they come home with the breeze as the kick goes towards the Garner direction from the standing start the going goal would out of bounds no through for one behind so not a score but it's not the one they were after as the siren sounds to announce three-quarter time, 26-point margin out here to the home side, the Heathmont Jets. They call it the Premiership quarter, and they certainly came out and played a brand, didn't they, Heathmont, in that third term? And it will be South Belgrave to kick with the breeze in the final quarter. I hope you're enjoying the broadcast on the SEN app, 98.1 Radio Eastern, is streaming live across Facebook and YouTube. There's three down, there's one to go, and, of course, those important around-the-ground scores to come right after this. If we can, and um, we'll just, just chip away and get the first one and see what happens after that. I think both sides have struggled with the breeze, sort of knowing how to utilise it. What's the key area you guys want to use when you're going forward? You've just got to lower the eyes, ball movement, take the game on, run, forward handball, just anything. Just, you know, don't die wondering, that's all, yeah. And then finally, mate, I guess last time you guys played similar situation, down, down by about four goals at three, got a time you ran over the top of them. Do you think that'll help the boys mentally? I was mentioned quite briefly, but I just think it was more about the application <laughs> of that last ten minutes and how we changed that. So it's quarter by quarter. But um, no, we'll see what happens first five and we'll go from there. We're not Cheers, Luke. Good luck. Well, we're certainly excited for that first five minutes. There's no doubt about that as our players make their way to position. And shortly we'll hear from Jared Beanland, who was over at the Heathmont huddle. And no doubt they were pretty pumped up, the boys, with uh, coach Nick Rutley as the umpire holds the ball aloft. And here's Brett Beston to take us away with the final turn. So final quarter all to play for. 25 points to the margin. Up they fly. Nice to head out there by South Belgrave as they get the possession. Kedit was trying to hack it forward. And they do get it forward. They desperately need an early goal here. The Saints taken there nicely by Van Leeuwen. He's been particularly good today. Now it comes out towards Quirk. Just working it out, just taking a bit of time, and also will chip over the top there, and it finds Very a target nice. in Haynes, just taking, and that might be the way that Heath might decide to play. Just got, but that's a terrible kick, and Odomat says, thank you very much. It hasn't had the busiest of games today, but he draws a beautiful kick, and the mark is taken, and this might be the early goal they're looking for. Garner, it is. He's more than capable, Damien Garner. He's a lovely kick. Yep, 21 goals before today, so he's kicked two today, so he's up to 23. Well, we saw head. him kick one in almost the identical position in the second turn that went goalpost height. One of Ray Baird's favourites. Well, this is simply a must kick. This has got to go through if South Belgrade have had any chance in this game at all. Here he comes. He'll be kicking from about 50 metres on its way. And I think he's pulled it. He has. Boundary. As we go boundary side. So yeah, I was with uh, Nick Rutley in the huddle. Uh, there was a big focus on intensity and something we haven't picked up on, which was uh, blocking around the contest. That was something they were very happy with down at the Jets and the communication as well. They need to step that up to another level, according to Nick. So Billy in the back pocket of the Ryan variety goes straight back across to a teammate. I mean, just taking Robbie a Savory. Of, Robbie Savory, and chipping it across. Yes, the ball now just once again just Heath might trying to control it. That's a lovely kick too. Marked at centre wing. South Belgrave won't win the game if they can't get their hands on the footy. And maybe that's going to be Heathmont's play in this last quarter. A little short kick down the line. Just a little bit overcooked. No, in fact, it was marked by Burley of the Joel variety this time. Joel wheels around onto his left. Goes long inside 50. Coming down just about half forward through the hands. Going inside 50. They've got to try and get their hands on this. Finn, no, Brown. Finn Brown. Brilliant. Can he kick the goal? Finn Brown, he has! That's the one. They Fantastic goal from Heath. Absolutely, and that just might just about be the killer. Finn Brown puts it through. Brilliant play by him. Rove the kick and slammed it through for his second, and that margin is out to 30 points, and it's going to be tough now, boys. I did say in that third quarter, Brett, that if Finn Brown can get into the game and, t and kick a few goals, it's going to really throw the cat among the pigeons, and he's done exactly that. 
Boundary. Cross down to Matt Fodia. In terms of the conditions, guys, the winds probably pick up a little bit, so South Belgrave will definitely need to pick up some more now that they're five goals down, and the temperature's dropped about three degrees, so uh, not looking good for that rain. Yeah, I'm certainly regretting not bringing the jacket now as the, uh, <laughs> the umpire throws it up. And now a chance for Black to go forward. They need the quick answer, do the Saints. And they might get an opportunity here as they link up OK on the left boot. Here's Bartels. He pushed Coming it left. There. But it's uh, nobody home except for the ever-reliable Murphy Ambrose, who takes the mark and then just pokes it. And it was a nice kick too. Spots up Van Leeuwen. Brett Beston's love child this afternoon as he kicks it out wide to Declan Brown. Brown with the painted left sleeve. Kicks it up towards the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. It was a grubber of a kick out in front that time there was Osborne, paddled it to his advantage. It was almost Ryan Young got his head knocked off. The umpire said play on. Diving over the top, Osborne is giving away a free kick. Liam Kidd will be the recipient and they might get advantage here through walls. Umpire said no. Bring it back. So Kidd. Short passes on. Beautiful spearing pass down the throat of Black who started on fire and slowed down a little bit Black as the kick goes up towards the half forward line. A good mark and stretch there and lead by Phil Costa, one of the stalwarts of South Belgrave, who looked one way and then kicked the other way. Yeah. It was almost a little bit too cute, if you ask me, and he coughed it up. And now it'll be a chance for the Jets through Jordan Haynes just to uh, weigh up his options across the defensive arc for Heathmont. Where they can, they'll probably slow it down whilst they hold such a strong lead because they know that they'll, the first five minutes, as uh, Luke Galliott said, were so important to South Belgrave to get some momentum. And Finn Brown, who opened this term with a goal, has the ball and he chips it short, spots up Ryan Burley. In essence, they can play and control the tempo of the footy for the rest yep. of the afternoon here, Heathmont. Yeah, Don't have to do anything I mean, stupid. To time. And he was let to go as well to take off on the mark. That's almost unforgivable, that sort of stuff. As the kick goes inside forward, 50, mopping it up, though, was Silver, who squeezed a kick out wide, and it was a good one too. Declan Forbes takes a mark. Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious we can see how Heath might... If you've hit it on the he, a nail on the head, boys, because they just really are chipping it around. As if to say to South Belgrave, well, you have it all to do. Good oh, mark. mark. Brilliant mark taken Must there by... Go. Costa took Costa, the mark. He puts it through. And he got it to Brown, who dribbled it home. Fantastic. Costa took the mark. He got it off to Brown, and that's the goal they needed. So it just gets it back to a 24-point margin. So just as we were talking about uh, Heath might maybe shutting the game down, South Belgrave Boundary. do get their goal as we go boundary side. During the break, I also got confirmation that uh, Jake Sheriff will be out of the game for the uh, rest of the match with that concussion. They've thrown Caleb Quirk uh, back onto his man, Sam Brown, who just kicked that goal. Just a couple around the grounds at three-quarter time. East Burwood's lead now goes out to 50 points. 12-9-81 to 4-7-31 to Warren Knights. So that's a handy lead. And Burundi have cut the lead back to five points at three-quarter time. Mulgrave still leave 11-12-78 to 11-7-73. I tell you what, it's not only is it a handy lead by East Burl, but it's a statement today, I, I believe. As it comes in now, Burley, boot to ball, a chance for Heathmont to get the answer to the answer. And Osborne's in there. He's quickly wrapped up. He's going to be brought to ground. Strong tackle by Malivizic. And we will have a ball up. 25 out from the Jets' goal line. Six minutes tick over on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. 24 the margin. Hope you're enjoying it. Little flick over the back. Here's Bailey. Oh, what a Great sensational tackle. tackle by Black. And he's going to be rewarded as well. He started it off and then Walls came in and finished off the job. That's teamwork at its best. And he might just put himself in a bit of trouble here, Walls. But he kicks the ball out towards the wing position. And if you've ever seen a little bit of swift movement with your hips, that was it there. Van Leeuwen kick and then got the ball into the middle of the ground. Here's Evans who got oh, the short pass no. on and Probably Academy was. Award. It was more of a Razzie than an Academy Award, that effort there. Um, and he thought, just wake up the options, kick out wide to Savory, who will just get the big mid up. And goes out there now, a little flick out the back. He's Quirk. He's put his teammate under a lot of pressure there in Gosbull. who's gang tackle and in the end. The umpire is not going to give that one away. We'll have a ball up through centre wing position here. Grandstand side right in between both dugouts. You can feel the tension. And a big fly by Robertson. Jeez, he can got a fair old leap on him, doesn't he? And, uh, and then the umpire said, well, Evans, you just stood there and blocked him. So... Not the biggest, not really convinced on that one. But I tell you what, he would have been all right at high jump, this fella. 
Jay Robertson got the handball away to Walls. As he kicks it inside, 450 over to Matt, but over the back, he's so good. I'm it's very, very impressed reliable. with Murphy Ambrose today. Certainly my votes. Short pass back. Goes to Van Leeuwen, who we know gets three from Besto. <laughs> as he <laughs> kicks it out wide. Uh, it's good to have a laugh again. As it kicks out towards the brown direction for Heathmont. And again, they'll just make sure that they hit the targets and it's the, the right way to go about it as well. So Wallace has kicked a couple of goals, pokes it over the top. And they'll do it nice and easy. Ryan Young. To see a couple of the, the netballers who have finished their game just uh, before they get in the car, having a squizzer. Great, Great relationship between the clubs out here. Kick goes in towards the middle of the ground. A big fly over the back. That was Burley. That was almost a mark, I would have thought. Um, I said no. Little handball out wide. Haynes. Handball up towards the Molino direction. He just had a lot of times. Did really well as the kick handball goes out towards the Wallace direction. And those Yahoos better get told by Dyson Baker just to quieten down. It's almost like he's singing with them as it's uh, across the half back line now. And here's South Belgrove. So, ball kicked into the middle of the ground. Quirk almost had it, but he lost it. And it's still going to be taken there by a teammate. We've got a whistle for something, a free kick going to be to Quirk. Holding the man. It's a free kick no. to South Belgrave. That's 25 that metres as well. It is, though, because he's passed it. He hasn't passed it directly back to the opponent. So he passed it to his teammate to pass it back. <laughs> so that's just that's the definition of uh, 25. So Damien Garner gets an unexpected bonus. He gets a take two. He gets a take two from what he had just earlier in the term. Let's see if he can uh, do the business. This will get it back to what, what have we got? Three goals if he can slot this. It's not an easy kick. It's fair way out. Pretty much straight in front though. And he'll kick from about 50. How does it look? Bang. He's got a beautiful kick. Great kick. Goal umpire did not move. It was arrow straight. And Damien Garner gets his third of the day. And we're back to a three-goal game on boundary. the Indian scoreboard. As we go boundary side. Yeah, so one of the things Luke Elliott and his coaches wanted his team to do was trying to take off the 45 and, and be creative, you know. They, they need to do something special to get in front. And the last two goals have come from kicks. First one was Declan Forbes. Not sure who that last one was. From the halfback flank, back into the centre corridor. That yep. one, they got lucky via a 25-metre penalty. And the other one, they got lucky by a bit of a, a, a lucky bounce but both times they've taken the risk and they've been rewarded what does it feel like down there on ground level uh it's a slightly bit more tense winds dying off which means the rain's probably getting closer for my own personal safety but <laughs> it's getting tense i think heathmont might have been too obsessed with the holding and the holding of the ball mm -hmm. uh, possession and they're inviting pressure and now south belgrave are feeding off it and as luke said that it was mentioned that they did this to them in round three as brown goes inside 450 ben he does indeed he goes towards the automat direction ambrose over the back big fly got a fist on it and over she goes for a boundary throw in look one of the things bws i reckon he's um south belgrave can do is try and find the weakest link in that back six and i reckon quirk is that weakest link two of his uh, decision making he, uh, decision making efforts in that quarter have led into, into goals and he was also part of giving that free kick again away to Damien Garner so that's, a, that's where they can exploit him well it's a shallow throw in in the end but Savory got it from Evans and thumped it on his boot it's not uncommon for him to go 40-50 metres Smith was out in front gave a little bit of a hug to Ryan Young and they carried each other over the boundary line we'll have nothing like togetherness eh that's what it's all about. Let's just share the love. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fresh should be whipping out a vision of Kumbaya soon. <laughs> Fire throws it in. A little bit of holding that time there on Robertson. Umpire wasn't in the right spot to see that as the ball skips out the back, but we'll have a ball up. So... It's all gone very quiet all of a sudden out here. It's yeah. tense. Tense. Uh, Evans, little flick out the back that time. Goes out to Kid. Kid on the left. Slams it inside 450. And I think it stayed in. Connolly's taken the mark here. And he said, you know, it has gone out of bounds on the full. The boundary umpire was a long way away. He's going to ask for the goal umpire's input to this one because he was probably closer. Oh, it's if they are goalies. You like, see it. You see that one, mate? <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, now we're going back, and we've got the boundary umpires made his way up. Uh, just make a decision, fellas. Goodness sake. No, I, I, it's it's hard. It was uh, it, it looked to be out of bounds on yeah. the ball. I'm pretty sure old mate having a dart in the background agrees. Is it on the left boot? Kicks it up towards the wing. It was a sloppy kick. It was a floater in the end. Smith almost threw that, but got hand to ball. Withers backwards to Kidd. Kidd an up and under kick. He kicked for the percentage then. Savory, it slipped through his mitts. He had support there through Merritt, who charged after it. Got dispossessed. Garner on hands and knees, wrapped up nicely by Robbie Savory, and will have a ball up. 45 out from goal. Hasn't done much wrong today, Robbie Savory, in that centre-half back position. Nah, that's it, Brush. As, uh, three goals is the margin. It's 18 points out here. And it's in the forward line for South Belgrave. Evans again got an un un uh, un unopposed uh, knockout. Went out to Smith. Smith back to Walls. They go inside forward 50. Who's going to be the fly? Garner in the oh. front spot. He hit the deck and Odomac comes charging through. Did it hit his boot and go out of bounds on the full? It certainly did. So it'll be a free kick going the way of Heathmont. Boundary. From the back, uh, from the last line of defence. Let's go down to Matt Fodia. Yeah, so around the ground scores. Mulgrave 12, 13, 85. Bronia 13, 8, 86. 15 minutes gone last quarter. Keep a close eye on that one as uh, Murphy Ambrose brings the ball back in. So Heathmont bring it back in. But the mark is taken. It's been cut off there by number 30. Connolly. That's Connolly. Connolly pointing forwards his... Get forward, boys. We need to get a mark inside 50. Hoists it high. Can Odomat get it marked? Oh, yeah, mark. Magnificent from Garner. Odomat was there, but Garner went over the top of him and took a brilliant two-handed mark, and he will go back and line up for number four. And this, if it's successful, will get us back to a two-goal game. He, he's in the forward line. He's single-handedly keeping them uh, alive at the moment. So this is huge. It really is because we've only got, uh, well, who knows how long there is to go. We've got uh, 40 <laughs> minutes played. But this is a massive kick to get it back to a two-goal game. Here's Garner. Nice slow approach. Here's the kick. And he's got it. Slams it through the big boy Garner. And that's number four. Started this game with uh, 21 goals for the season. He's now on 25. Even with my uh, poor mass, I can work that out. And they are very much back in this game. It's a 12-point uh, game. Heath might lead 10-6-66 to 8-6-54. And, boys, what price the next goal? Well, they just can't play defensive, just defensive right now. They need another one to hold on because they, there's still another good another 10, 10 or so minutes. So they can't just hold on and uh, hold on to this lead. Have they gone, South a bit, gone a bit too defensive early? Because they have been chipping it around almost like they were trying to shut well, the game down. It's that possession style of football. They'll chip it around and they try and waste time off the clock, but it, it was way too early. That was five minutes into the uh, last quarter when they were doing that. Well, here they go again. It comes out the handball. Just missed the kid direction, but he was good enough to get the ball back. Handball out wide. Big one over the top here is Carroll. He trapped it eventually. Swings around on the left. Goes inside forward 50. Over the top there of Costa's head. He had his opposing number there and Stevens charging after it. Did really well. Got the handball away to Burley. And now the Jets are off to the races. The kick goes up towards the Osborne direction. It was nicely knocked away that time by Milizovic. Osborne was equal to the task. Got the handball back. It was smothered by Smith from the Saints who kicked it up the wall. It's a wing position. The game's become alive now. Out there was Withers. Handball back to Smith who barged his way through. He threw it away. The umpire said play on. Kid picked it up. Got the handball back to Withers. This way, that way. Scrambles a kick inside. Forward 50. Garner! I tell you what, this guy is playing a sensational game today. And don't give it off, don't Damien. You are going, you're on fire, son. And he'll go back and have a ping from just inside the 50. Damien, you're a Premier Division forward. You're supposed to come down to this level and kick goals, mate. Beautiful kick of the football. And uh, I'm sure he heard that advice and went, no worries, Brash. Here I come. So, you see, he's a direct approach. I love the way he comes in. It's old school style, kicking for goal. Kicks under it. Goes goalward, it's sitting up. Well, it have enough carry. It did in the end, but Andy it point. went right. And um, uh, that's what we're calling it. No, absolutely. One behind, 16 and a half minutes tick over. The margin is 11 points. So it could have done with that one, but they're still close enough if they're good enough, South Belgrave. And you can see Heath might just... They're almost gone into their shell. They just look like they just want to try and play this game out, and it's not the way to go, as we've seen. Beautiful mark taken over there by Robertson. He's come into the game nicely. Robertson. Kick it to Garner. Give it to Garner. It goes into the pocket. Where is the uh, big torment? Over the top it goes. Ambrose. And 
What have we got? Mark taken over there by Ambrose. He's saving been, Mark. I agree with you, BWS. He's been really good, this guy. He's been solid all day as he goes long. I'm trying to find a teammate. Up they fly. Great fly there. It was a huge jump by Osborne, but he just couldn't High. come down with the ball. Boundary. But it's a free kick as we go. Boundary side with Matt Fodio. Yeah, South Bogue have officially two down on the bench. Elliot Trigart, he's got ice around that right glute. He's done for the day. So <laughs> He loves saying glute. <laughs> <laughs> Margin is uh, close enough. It's only a two-goal game. So Heathmont, they go down the line. What a great kick, though. Hey. That would be a great kick because Finn Brown comes over the top. Great mark. It looked like a kick to pretty much nobody, but Brown made it look better than it was, and he goes into it go. now. Finds a target in Merritt. Merritt goes a wobbly old kick inside 50. Oh, that's a, is that holding the ball? Yes, it is. Good tackle, and the tackler is rewarded. It was Walls who made the tackle. Now he goes out wide. But beautifully coming through there, and Heath might have won it again. They've turned it over. Now it's Hanson. Hanson goes for a couple of bounces. They go inside 50. This time, can they hit the target? Getting a punch away there was uh, a Belgrave player towards the boundary line. It's still in over there. And the handball back is then it's uh, oh, Michael. Smith. Terrible kick. He's put it straight over the fence. And we'll have a uh, free kick to Heathmont, and the pressure continues. You almost sense that Heathmont, Ryan, need another goal. They do, they do. It had just but gone over the line before Smith got boot to ball, so he'll take that one. And it'll be a boundary throw in, 55 metres out from the Heathmont goals. They can scramble one here. All of a sudden, the momentum can swing. So it comes in now, brought to ground. That time was Liam Kidd. Pye said, we'll ball it up. See, Evans just picks up his uh, teammate there in Haynes, basically with, <coughs> with one arm. Pye throws it up now. Evans, good knock that time. Kidd again, trying to break his way through. Brought to ground. Let's do it all again. They've got to make something of this inside 50 here, Heathmont. It's also handy to keep the ball forward of centre for them as well, which is what they're doing. Evans got it down. Quick kick by Merritt. Merritt to the top of the goal square. How's this one going to go? Who's at the fall of the ball? Wallace, he's kicked a couple. He's quickly wrapped up, and we'll have a ball up. 20 out. Around the grounds, Baronia lead 94 to 92, 24 minutes gone. Mm. Taylor Leggett has kicked six goals in the second half. Wowza, great update there. Robertson, big fly. A little fresh air shot almost by Wallace Osborne. Came through. Goes after it again. Hudson for the Saints. Not letting the ball go anywhere. They've inched closer. That's, well, we'll call it seven metres out. From the Heathmont goal line. Bajram off. He was in there. Can anyone get toe poked to ball? No, they can't. It's rushed through for one behind. Boundary. It's crossed down boundary side to Matt. Yeah, around the grounds in Division 4. Coldstream up by 108 points over Churnside. Sylvan are up, uh, going to win there, up by 53 points over Forest Hill. Croydon North lead by 30, uh, 22 sorry, over Kilsyth. And Surrey Park lead by 57 over Nutterwadding. Oh, well, Odomat from the kick in. He knows how to play it smart, and he won the free kick in the middle of the ground. The margin is back out here to 12 points. What can they do? The Saints, he's looking to go forward. He generally likes to roost it, so he's going to kick it in towards the Garner direction, and it's not a silly kick in all direction either. Boundary. But it didn't hit the target. The mark's been taken by Van Lewin. Got the handball away to Ambrose. We'll go boundary side shortly as the kick goes up towards the wing position. But the mark has been taken out there by Robert Hudson, who is just lo loading up now. He'll kick it in towards the middle of the ground. They need also a little bit of luck here. Just waiting for it in the end is not helpful. Molino was in the middle. Scooped upon there by Castle Dine. Brought to ground. Let's go boundary side to Matt. Yeah, uh, Whitehorse Pioneers lead by 17 points over Scoresby. Look like they might be saving their uh, place in Division 3 with this win. Okay. See, is this a crucial inside 50 or not coming up for either side yep. here? Well, the umpires brought the ball right into the middle of the uh, centre square here. He didn't want to do it on the other patch. So a little fresh air shot by Walls went nowhere. Fresh air shot uh, by uh, Brown was a good one. And kicked it up towards the wing position. Bouncing football. Burley had some space. He just needs it to sit nicely for him. Chip kick over the top. That was good play. They need to keep the ball moving. They don't want the South Belgrade players to be able to get back and into position here. The kick goes forward. It goes towards the Bajramov direction. Big fly over the side there by Robertson. 
Hamilton who Just takes the hit. mark but Bajramov he was worked out of it and the umpire's seen it and the big man will go back and have a ping from 45 out it's a difficult oh, yeah, it's wherever wherever you have a shot for at this side of the uh, at this end of the ground today it's been difficult but if you wanted it in the hands of one person it is certainly this man he kicks this off even a score yep. would put it to a three goal game so Bajramov comes in now goes Goldwood and it is a good lucky kick he loved it the moment it left his boot Bajramov and look at the boys get around him the home side get the breathing space they were after and it might just be enough to 22 and a half minutes tick over in the final term on EFNL game day and it's the Heathmont Jets by 18. Well, they scrambled and scraped around for that inside 50 there for, for the last five minutes, and they finally get a break, Heathmont, and uh, they've kicked that goal just when you needed a, a goal, just heading into time on. So 23 minutes gone in this final term, and is that the Dale on the coffin? It's been a ding-dong struggle all day. They need a quick answer. 18-point margin now as the ball goes up again. One out of the middle by Heathmont. It was Evans. He got the tap. Now they go forward. Now the goal here would be a real coach killer, but it's uh, taken nicely there at the back by South Belgrave. And they've just got to go. They've just got to absolutely gun everything now as they try and get a quick goal here. Forbes it is. In fact, not Forbes. It is uh, Brown. Goes in board. Trying to find a target. Ball bouncing around. Nothing clean. Going in after it was Haynes. Did well. Got Great it out. chase. Great contest. You can see the desperation from South Belgrave. It's in the hands of Kid. Kid goes forward. Can't hit a target. Ball on the ground. And that'll be a ball up. <laughs> <laughs> Young on the ground doing his best impression of... Uh, I'm not sure he was doing an impression of. So up it goes. Head out. Now towards the boundary line and it runs across. So this is all good from a Heathmont point of view. The last two or three minutes... Bell, uh, South Belgrave going into their inside 50 has been sloppy. Odomat missed hitting a target, and they're just starting to miss their, those targets when they really need to nail them now. So. Times like those is why we need to get a microphone on Lee Green. <laughs> There's the ball back in. Up they get. South Belgrave win the hit out, but they won't do them any good unless they can win the clearance. And it's fallen for Heathmont, and they can go forward again here, just going across the ground as they have for much of this quarter. And you saw a little kick out Burley now. Goes out wide, kicking to a two-on-one, but it goes over the top, and it'll work out for them, actually. Little handball off, and here they come with Hanson. Hanson just got River in the nick of time, and the hands now of Silver. Gets a little ball out there to Walls. Walls goes forward. This has got to be a mark, and it is. Round about half forward in the hands there of Carroll. Carroll goes forward now, just but that's a terrible up. kick. Straight to Quirk. And they were building their South Belgrave, but it just all broke down for them. And Heathmont now with the football. Great call, Besto. Ambrose takes the mark. Solid as a rock. Hasn't barely played some sort of a game as well today. Fantastic as he pokes it over the top now, looking for Isaacs. Who takes his time and then kicks an inside out mongrel punt, which goes down the wing, and the umpire has paid a free kick going the way of the Saints. And Robertson to get the ball moving on and oh. once again they're not copying any back chat and it doesn't matter anyway because the siren has sounded to announce a victory and what a big victory this one is too to the home side today the Heathmont Jets are victorious over South Belgrave by three goals 11-7-73 to 8-7-55 a fantastic performance by the home side today Wayne Brasher it was it was a it was a great contest it's almost a bit of an anti climax because I was Looking, I was looking for another two or three minutes there. It's crossed down boundary side to Jared Beanland. I'm with the winning coach, Nick Rutley, for the Heathmont Jets. Nick, how are you feeling about that one? Uh, good to get a scalp. I mean, they're a really good footy team. Um, Lukey and Gibbo are doing a great job with these boys. Obviously, Tim going down early hurts them. They're going to change a few things. I thought Michael Smith was enormous. Um, they're a good team. Garner obviously nearly towed him over the line on his own. Um, so, we still got a lot, of, lot to work on, and so do they. Uh, they're a bit banged up today. They'll get some boys back and play finals later in the year. They're still going to be a threat. I still think they're the team to beat. 
they definitely proved that to us today. So, but to our guys, I just love the way we kept fighting it out. There was a period there in the second quarter where I thought South Belgrave really got on top and could have ran away with it even further. Um, but we managed to peg it back and we were either a point down or up at half time. So that was the difference. I think the maturity in answering, I guess, uh, South Belgrave really coming at us in that second part of the second quarter um, was a real testament to our boys. So really proud of them. Um, hopefully, COVID-free, we get the rest of the season going.